Uh, come on, OBS. Don't don't be acting up. There we go. All right, let's get in. Finally caught up. Hey, uh, it, welcome back. Um, so my days off, my unscheduled days off are good for you, right? So you can catch up. Welcome in. Welcome in. Don't you freeze on me. What the? Rimworld? This was literally working right before the stream. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I did install a new um, portrait thing. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. But yeah, good luck, Nar. See what you can do. Yeah. Um... I really could have done it in 11 weeks, so you guys could beat it. I think 11 weeks is the, the fastest. I just didn't want to. Dark Edge Run, awesome, awesome. Oh, those are so much larger. What do you guys think about these? Are these too large? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, thank you, it. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Choo choo. All aboard the hype train. Those might be a little too large. I don't know, actually. With how many people we have, it might be a good thing. I think it looks all right. Uh, I'll see if I can get used to it. Definitely better than having them all be like the size of that helmet there. Okay, so what we're in the process of doing. Uh, we are getting started on hydroponics so that we have enough hydroponics for if there is a uh, toxic fallout event. We have claimed the right side of the base, which is right side of the map, which is just ridiculous. Uh, I cannot believe how big the footprint of our base is. It's a mega base. Let's go on Cypher. Fedora, welcome back. More now to use. We'll be starting that soon. Get more people active between streams. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We have days where it's pretty active, but yeah, not so much. Not always. It's the best accent. Are you eating cat treats? <laughs> oh, she's in here? Can you lead her out? I think she might want out. Yeah, we just got a Masterwork Recon Armor. Okay, we'll lead her out. Don't don't shut her in here, please. Uh, we're kind of low in raw food. We have some corn coming in. Um, if I remember right, too, we actually got surface. Uh, yeah, we got two bionic legs and two field hands on surface. Um, so his harvesting speed now is 706% plant work speed. So uh, and his movement is at 109%. That's good. That's good. All oh, my guys decked out in full stupid armor. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, everyone has a marine helmet and everyone has recon armor. So, recon or marine armor. So, yeah, pretty much. Um, and we have one left in stock for every time we get a new person. We are up to 45 people, not 44. Uh, our squared's wandering around sadly for some reason. Whatever, our squared. Uh, I don't even remember what all this blood's from. Oh, right. Um... Thrombos. It's a lot of pawns to knock. It is. It is. Uh, we did rebuild the doors after the last thing. We got a lot of uranium saved up. How are we doing on Plasteel up here? Plasteel is really our major like limiting factor at the moment in being able to produce more high-tech stuff. And yeah, we're, we're 338 days out of 1,200. So we're barely over a quarter of the way. Churning out full cybernetics. We're working on it now. Plasteel is what's limiting us. So we're starting to replace everyone's legs and eyes with bionics. But uh, we keep buying every all the Plasteel offered and we still can't get enough. So we've started scanning for Plasteel. The downside is all the Plasteel that we're finding on the map is actually pretty far away. Uh, we could drop pod there and then drop pod back, which is what I might do. Uh, but all three of those are Plasteel, but it's around impassable terrain and mountains. So um, there's some risk of drop potting, but I might start working on full Cyberpunk. Going for three rows. Yeah, it's crazy. We want to get at least 50. Uh, anyway, we got this one hydroponic set up and I'm going to get these three others. We're not going to use lamps on them yet. Uh, we're going to leave the roofs off of these, and we're going to just have it set up so that if we do have a toxic fallout, then we can just throw a roof on it and be fine. Uh, we did the math behind it, and it would take four. It would take four hydroponic growing zones to support uh, our 50 colonists, so 
Uh, we've already made room for them. Just need to build walls around it. Need to fill this in. Um, and then, of course, we're just going to work on more defense. Always more defense. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start working on closing this up here. Might as well. Oh, we can smooth that. It's fine. I know we're using more than we really need to, but it's all right. Fire assist still on. Plus. And if we do lost pawns. Uh, yeah, yeah. Still on 500%. Uh, threat scale 500, losing is fun preset. Moment of 500, so, yep. Still 500. How's it going, John? Yeah, I installed a different mod to make the icons larger because it was just insane how small they were getting when we were getting so many. Does it work? Do you have to settle there to mine it? No. So how it works is um, basically this, for all intents and purposes, spawns a tiny map. So it's going to spawn a uh, like a quest map. Quest maps are about this size. Uh, maybe like 100 by 100 or something like that. Maybe even a little bit smaller than that. But uh, and what what will happen is you caravan there and you have there's like a almost you know how like a, when a meteor hits that size there there will basically be a meteorite of that material that you scanned for and you just mine it out and caravan back. So you can caravan or drop pot over to it and then um, and then do that. Okay, so we're gonna get the wall set up for these and hydroponics set up. Uh, we also went through a lot of our steel last time, putting these extra turrets in. Uh, how many turrets are we up to now? Ah, uh, just 83. How's it going, Dragoon? Welcome back. Came out slowing it with us tonight. Caldron, welcome back, by the way. Hello, fighting sir in chat. Thank you, Caldron. Don't care about your feelings, though. Emo's been passe for like eight years. It's getting warm in here. It's like 21 degrees out or some crap, but this room gets hot, so. Oh, my shoulder is hurting. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we'll see what Rainy throws last night. We're working on getting five more ponds and uh, getting our hydroponics set up. That's that's goal right now and getting as much plasteel. Getting old? No, it's not that. I injured it. No, no fault of age this time, at least. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. All right, we'll let him do that. Uh, we got corn coming in. Animal disease flu. Oh well. It's a comfy 61. That's like perfect temperature, like 61 to 63 degrees. That's nice. That's go out for walks temperature. <laughs> How's it going, Superglue? Thank you for the resub. How's your uh, your run going, Superglue? Superglue just recently started playing the game. Cause these treatment. What's wrong with Kerrigan? Muscle parasites still. God, we have muscle parasites for so long. So long. Gotta remember how those uh, animal pulsers too. Got that filled in. We still need to fill this in. Uh, we're making bricks. Uh, Yenli, walk back. Let's go on Yenli. Okay. So we won't even worry about slapping a door on that. Um, how are we doing on components? Riggs is having a food binge. Whatever, Riggs. Whatever, Riggs. Do I have 50 plasteel up there? Man. Uh, anyway, how are we doing on components? Um, 20. No, I have 20. Okay. So we got to just put a few of these in at one or uh, at a time, basically. Just a few at a time. We fit 24 in there. Doing all right. How's it going, Jeremy? Welcome back. At your first sunblocker, was it in your map or did you have to caravan to it? Out of curiosity. All right, uh, raw food's coming in. We have so many meals anyway, though. 
So many meals. Uh, how's our... Huh, that only needs one more tick to finish off that area, and then we'll dry up the rest. Oh, there's only one more... Is there one right there? There is one right there. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Oh well. We'll get it dried up. Eventually. Caravan? Only a half a day trip though. Was that your first caravan? Um, like your first excursion? Or did you, had you uh, mess with that before? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was your first? Nice. Nice. Yeah, these big icons are going to help, I think, quite a bit. A lot easier to find people. The names are still, like, going crazy. I guess when I hover, no, I'm just sometimes, just, I don't know what causes their names to get, like, abbreviate and stop being abbreviated. Uh, there's a dead squirrel over there, apparently. Cool. Cool. You know what? I can let the animals graze over here instead of being outside. Alright, fine. Until we start setting up uh, things over there, we might as well do that. We might as well let them graze out here. And then when this is out of grazing material, uh, then I'll, I'll switch it back. Graze till you, to your heart's content, horses. We actually lost quite a few of our, uh, our meat shield animals. Uh, in the last couple streams. But. Probably would have been faster to make a new zone, honestly. Ah, well. Ah, well. You're over there. Back on. How's it going, Vol? Welcome in. Hytala, good to see you. How's it going, Hytala? Rage quit stream because the abuse destroyed the run? No. Technical problems. Grazing material? Oh, you mean, uh, will I start, like, making actual food for them? Finn! Same time, you left your best shooter there and had two rolls there on a quest. That's nice. Your headache's gone, so now you're good. God, headaches are so... So crappy, man. Just a normal headache this time, or did you have a migraine again? Should be 24. Done. Done. Two doses of Excedrin got rid of it this time. Is that overhead mountain right there? It is not. It is not. Actually, block that off. Not really care. Honestly, honestly, I might do that. We'll see. How's it going, Gray Wolf? Welcome in, Marabou. Welcome back. How's it going, Marabou? Fuego, welcome back. Got your name right. It's a Christmas miracle. So if we go. What about fixing it? Uh, I th so there was two things that kind of happened. Um, the main one I think that was causing it is there was a game on Steam where the download was stuck and it was screwing up and so I couldn't 
cancel the download for that game and also couldn't put it lower on the list and clearing the download cache didn't do it. Not, it wouldn't let me uninstall the game. Um, so after messing around with Windows a bunch, I went into the, um, uh, the actual game files. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna manually remove this game from my computer and see if that somehow does something. And I did it. And after that, when it was gone from the uh, Steam queue, everything else downloaded instantly. So I don't know what caused it to do that, but it was the game Iron Harvest. Iron Harvest was trying to update and couldn't through the Steam client for some reason. I have no idea why. And it was basically locking all of Steam up um, and not let me do anything else on it. So Iron Harvest, which I had uh, played very little for a bounty. How to rebuff shims? What if I make you fall in love with shims? What about that? Is R squared over his breakdown? Because he can do that. Uh, I gotta remember where people are now with these new icons, so. Um, R squared. Word of love on Lucas and shims. So let's bring Lucas here. And where are you shims? Let's bring you, oh, you look at that. You're right there. What do you know? Then R squared, come on down. All right, R squared, let's uh, let's get these crazy people falling in love. That's not weird. All right. Now you guys love each other. Uh, all right. Oh, did I build that? No, I didn't. Okay. I was worried I built that in the wrong spot, but I didn't. But I did not do it. How much marble we got? So much marble. So much marble. Got marble for days. Anyway, after we get these uh, four hydroponics set up, we can actually get rid of all of our other growing food if we want. We just grow uh, drugs, or I can keep growing corn since we don't have to go uh, get it very often. We can just use the excess for chem fuel and for uh, uh, money and dogs and stuff. Talk to your niece to play some days die on the laptop. Would you want place? Bought it from Hummel for her just now. Awesome, man. How old is your niece out of curiosity? <laughs> corn fuel. That's right. That's right. Delicious. Delicious corn fuel. Okay. Got that going. Nope. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Um... I might leave that open. Masterwork recon armor. <laughs> so slash so less than your seven days to die server if anyone's interested in playing with you on it. So if anyone plays seven days to die, I tell us looking for me more people for his server. Tortured artist, yeah. Okay. So entropy, we're okay with being sad, but let's see why other people are sad. Body purist, squeamish. <gasps> You're a body purist and you have a bionic eye? Oh no, Reezy, I forgot. I usually don't accept body purist people. I mean, I can remove it. That's minus 10 mood. That's crazy. That's crazy. What's your consciousness, 100%? You know what? I got the thing for you, Reezy. Uh, who has that? Finn? I got the thing for you, buddy. Get him, Finn. Get him. Word of joy. Look at that. Now he's freaking happy for five days or whatever it is. Uh, so once we get our hydroponic thing all set up, 
then we're gonna work on more defense and maybe start planning out individual bedrooms. Maybe. Maybe. I'm thinking about getting rid of this kill tunnel. <laughs> When's the last time we used this kill tunnel? Beginning of the game? Use that mod or something else? Oh, the building one or I'm talking about the portrait one? I'm using a different portrait one. Uh, let me see what it's called. So I haven't added it because this is the first time I've tried it. But it's a combination of um, it's custom portraits and then colored mood bars. So custom portraits is the one I'm using to make it larger. Custom portraits. You're bad at horror games. Corn meats. Uh, we are mining steel here. Afterwards, we'll get some there. We're still mining steel up there. Uh, the uranium's not quite mined out down there, but we're doing really well on uranium. We got steel sprinkled, <clears throat> excuse me, all around. Is that still a gathering spot? Turn that off. Don't gather there. Don't gather there. Turn that off. Don't want you traveling around the map to gather at some random table. You want to gather at a table gather at these all right all right okay i'll <laughs> build uranium floors play the floor is lava uh entropy is our artist so we're fine with him breaking down it's everyone else you want to kind of keep happy Um, working on getting our components back. All right, we'll start allowing some of these to get built. I mean, does it take one? So let's open up the first like five of them. You're not a real artist if you don't break down. That's right. Oh, and Bubble Bee Tuna, everyone. Bubble Bee Tuna. How's it going, Odin? Welcome back. How much longer do we have until we win the time mode? Uh, we're about 27% of the way through. <laughs> so. Three times again what we've done so far. Any random gatherings? Yeah. How's it going, Ben? Welcome back. Turn gathering off. Had taken restricting areas of work tables. You bad or they'd walk. Mind blown. Yeah, that's base game too. So I forget to do it sometimes, but yeah, you can click on a table to turn off gathering spot. And that way they won't just go socialize the table or have parties at it or whatever. <laughs> Lucas, why are you having a breakdown? Had to rebuff shims, but you love them. I made sure of it. Did time screw me over? Yeah, I think we're way ahead of the curve, but I mean, yeah, we could absolutely. The main thing is if we have a big centipede raid while um, industrious, but you're a pyro. Uh, if we have a big mech raid, like specifically 30 to 50 centipedes happen while we have a solar flare, that's kind of the main thing. Uh, new plasteel seam, all right. Hey, this one's actually gettable. So we're going to caravan to here. We're going to take uh, Scorpio and Pond Scum. They're used to this. Pond Scum. And take all of our pack animals. We might not need all of them, but you never know what's going to be there. There could be uh, some steel and stuff there too, and they can graze while they're gone, so we don't have to worry about them. So. Works for us. Uh, as far as travel supplies go, we're going to choose here. We're going to take, um, like 15 survival meals. It's, it's overkill, but you never know. We might have to stay there a little while. Uh, we'll take like 10 fine meals, six medicine, or two beds, and head off. I need to fix their food though. Uh, that was Scorpio. Oh, he's already on paste. And so is Pond Scum. All right. Don't have to do anything. 
How's the Rhino army going? We lost at least one or two. Oh crap, we didn't even name that one. I think we lost a couple. Um, we have three Rhinos. I feel like we, we had at least one die. I need to name this one. Uh, we actually had the chance to get, to buy like four or five more rhinos or something crazy. This one's name is Cat Dog, alright. Um, named from the cube by Raider Tube. We actually had the chance to buy like four or five more rhinos and the game actually froze up because of a mod. And I had to reload it and we didn't get that trader. We had auto save like right before the trader and then we didn't roll the trader. Oh, crap. I didn't leave the spot for the, um, the light. My bad. We don't want the lights in there now, but if we have a, uh, a an event, we do want one in there. Oops. Good catch there. Oh, right, that's where Wall was gonna go. Oh, did I do... Hang on a second. I might have built this one a little hastily. Yep. Yep, I did. Get someone to move that. Maybe something didn't look right with this one. There we go, one, two, three, four. How's it going, Charlie? Welcome back. Know oh, how to balance raw food versus meals versus consumption? I'm more worried about those exact numbers early game. So at the moment, not really. On this mode where wealth isn't an issue and uh, we have so many people, um, I overproducing food is fine. Um, also, we are making so many fine meals just because I was getting rid of the bug meats and putting in fine meals because you still get a net gain to, to mood that way. That's one reason why we have so many fine meals. Um... But it basically takes three basins, three hydroponic basins per person. So if you're going all hydroponic, I believe it's it's three. Three basins per person uh, without any events we'll, we'll feed. We'll feed them. Food sorted out completely yet? Uh, well, I'm starting to move, yeah, move it indoors just to be safer. Good chance to pass this on last night. It's better to send his worst regards. I was worried about him. I was uh, I was actually, uh, I saw his name in the team channel today. And I was like, I need to send him a message. Tell you, well wishes. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I mean, our time, our stream time is not great for him usually. So hopefully it means he's doing well. Because usually when he's not able to come to the stream, it's typically because he's sleeping at normal people hours, which is good. Let's go on Zamana. Welcome in. Two to three, yeah. Yeah, depending on the person, you gotta think you might have some gourmands or you might eventually get some gut worms. You might have some power outages for a little while, so. So if you wanna be completely safe, it's probably about three per person. Hydroponics can get blight, yeah, they can. But hydroponic rice grows so fast. What's interesting too is hydroponic uh, grows better in sunlight on most maps than sun lamps. So unless you need the sunlight, like if you are on, um, basically if you turn off your sun lamps and open the roof during growing season, 
uh, you'll you'll grow a little bit more food than um, if you just use the lights all year long. long. Layer billions, no pause, 100%. Beat the narrow pass, though. Stuck on Cape Storm. Yeah, I'm having the urge to play, too. I don't know when I will, though. Maybe I'll play it after this, but before my next RimWorld challenge. Uh, speaking of RimWorld stuff, the YouTube channel is doing really well. Um, I am almost at 400,000 views on YouTube, which is almost half of my views on Twitch. And I have streamed on Twitch for a long time. Uh, and YouTube, I only started this past year. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, I had my first 4,000 view day today. 4,000 views. And usually our stream gets 2,000 views. Um, anyway, I have noticed more and more people coming from YouTube to the stream. I get a lot more follows while I'm offline on the stream. So part of me is thinking I should really stick to RimWorld while I'm doing the RimWorld guides. Even though I really have this urge to play their Billions. Maybe I can play some their Billions in a split stream or maybe extra streams or something. I happen to have the urge to play it again. Uh, for three point. Oh yeah, I didn't play it that much. It was uh, it was paused and minimized most of that time. I think I really played for like thirty or forty minutes, and then I kind of left it open on accident. Kind of want to separate the sponge so you'd see how they would attempt. I think I don't know, man. I really don't know. The only thing I can think of sappers. I think if a sapper spawned, it would try to come through here. Because they try to come to the easiest path through the base, uh, even despite walls, but they see turrets as a huge threat. So if we look at our turret coverage, there's no turrets in here, right? So they would, they would try to get their way to the bedroom. They would come up through here, they would break through. These turrets do not cover this area. Maybe I should put some turrets in here, actually, now that I'm thinking about this. That is exactly what they would do. If a sapper raid spawned, it would come through here. Through here. And through here to get to that. I should put turrets in here. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you mentioned something. Because had you not, I may have never really looked at uh, possible sapper AI pathing. Sorry, Monday story night. That was the plan. Now that I'm behind on the stream for the week, I might put it off another week. I don't know. I really like story night, but it's really bad for the stream. So the stream's been doing really well again since I've stuck to RimWorld. Uh, in fact, I am finally got another sponsor stream opportunity because of how well the stream's been doing. Um, and it's another one of those big ones, kind of like how Raid Shadow Legends was a big one. And I actually paid my mortgage for a month doing that one. So it's, it's a really tough decision, you know? You're almost up to my total hours and tab. Tiff hours behind you, really? Um, Yeah, maybe I'll do like no pause campaign. Is there a mod to just skip the hero missions? They're not hard, they're just annoying. I've done them all on the hardest difficulty. So it's like, please, anything with the hero missions again. There's a mod to remove those. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing a no, trying a no pause campaign. Visit YouTube some nowadays. Thank you, I tell him. Hey, Sugarman! Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you, Sugarman. Great job keeping this run, crazy run going. Look forward to seeing it would still go on each night. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the bits. Um, we are so far ahead of the curve right now that I don't know what could kill us. I'm glad, uh... I'm really glad that you pointed out that you're on Sapper or Pathing, because it's a good thing to think about, right? So I am i don't even know that it will spawn Sappers anymore because of how the turrets are. That's super hard to mod. They actually passworded data files to prevent you from doing so. There was an announcement recently that they wanted to open it up to more modding. But yeah, their view, that that company's view on modding in general is not uh, not a favorable one and is really backwards. That sucks, though. You, you saw one of my videos on YouTube today just while you're browsing? That's awesome. 
Okay, so this is how the caravan to the plasteel works. So someone asked. So you can see we get here and the plasteel is, uh, how are you guys? Plasteel is basically like a meteorite. I tell, uh, what? I tell, I think we're the five gift subs. Who'd you get? Nottingham. Nerf this nerd. Ellipses and Cypher, all for their first months. And Lucario for three months. Hey, I know all those names. Sometimes the random gift subs hits people that I've never really seen before, but I know all those names. Thank you, Hytella. Much love to Hytella. Uh, who supported the stream a ton. Thank you, Hytella. Pond scum and his double drill arms. Is there anything else on this map we want to grab over here? Doesn't look like it. How's it going, Ellipses? Welcome in. Uh, Galvarino, welcome back. No, I wasn't able to stream. Uh, I was trying to fix the tech issues that I was having, and I ended up falling asleep a little after midnight, waiting for the computer to reset. Um, yeah, I didn't get to stream at all. <laughs> so. Go, go, go. One more. All right. You guys can head back home. All the animals are set up. Get all the plasteel. Don't care about any of the other stuff. All of our travel goods are set. All right. Bring that plasteel home. Bot was going nuts. That's right. How are we doing on power? We need to get the other geothermal. Oh, we gotta get that soon. Soon. We have a lot of marbles, so I guess we'll just grab it with marble. Let's go ahead and uh, make a stockpile zone. Where am I gonna connect this? So we have a few options. Uh, I could run it through here. I could connect it to the mountain and then dig through and then refill the mountain. That's probably the least amount of materials doing that. Uh, it's probably pretty even. Going up here is the... It's the longest for sure. Oh, this is going to be quite... Journey. Um, yeah, I think I'll end up connecting through there. So, let's put... Stockpile maybe between those. It's a little large. That's right, a little large. Let's go ahead and clear all. Says critical, uh, raw resource. I always find it weird that stone blocks are a raw resource. You have to produce them. Whatever. We'll have the animals start bringing marble down there. We gotta be really careful that this isn't open for very long. So you get to have. South will rise again as zombies, apparently. <laughs> uh, that's right. That's right. So your brain goes through turrets to conserve energy. I mean, maybe. The thing is, you can do a, a cheesy thing with it. Um, so if you want, I, I don't do it because... I try not to do super cheesy things in the game. I mean, it's a single player game. Do whatever you want. But um, to save power, we could save a lot of power if I went to Hytala. If I went to Hytala. Hytala, thank you with a $10 donation. Say a solid guy and streamer. Thank you, Hytala. Appreciate it, man. I want to play one of the sound clips after I answer this question. Thank you, Hytala. Appreciate it. Much love to Hytala again. Um... What you can do is you can actually make a power conduit here that's not connected to your grid. And I'm not going to, but then what you can do is you can select your turrets and you can uh, hit reconnect. They'll all connect with this, which isn't hooked up. And then it's they're, they're, they're off without having someone actually flip a switch. And then when you want them hooked back to your grid, you just hit connect again and it'll reconnect to the main grid. So if you want to use that kind of cheesy thing, by all means, do so. Uh, but it's a way to turn on and off 
lots of items that are hooked up to power without needing switches or pawns or anything. Yeah, you don't have to use colonists at all. Yeah. That's why I don't do it, is because I, I feel like it's a little too cheesy, but... Yeah, it's fine, though. Use whatever you want. doesn't bother me. Just cannot believe I'm still alive, me either. <laughs> Let's go, and done. You know what's even harder to believe, Dunn? That we're barely over 25% of the way through. That's more difficult for me to believe. But it's true. So, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, I'll decide where the door goes after I get this set up. So we're going to come out of this. Okay. I could just secure this someday too, actually. I could just do that now. Yeah, I, I don't think we need that though. We can always uh, work on it later if we really, really, really want to have that. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you, Aitala. Never miss the sub. Yeah, man, you've been here forever. I appreciate it. I really do. Can believe it's not butter. More than he can that this run is at 25 Yeah, pretty much. Thank you, IP. Have I ever asked you if you actually pronounce the first two letters or if it is supposed to be IP? Is it IP? Or IP? Aztec, thank you for the refollow. Thank you, Aztec. dig through this first see if that's overhead mountain uh where's another one of our good miners i know zamana building granite where's zamana zamana uh, i'm not used to where people all are anymore i got used to these bigger portraits zamana zamana you're happy enough to mine this Oh, it's not in the work zone. My bad. My bad. How's it going, Mick Exter? Welcome back. It's IP like IP address, guy. IP address, thank you. So you're everything with the edges into separate defensible areas? Yeah, that's true. Royal Tribute Collector, okay. It's going, Scott. Welcome in. What's up, what's up? Uh, not much. Just wait and see what Randy hits us with tonight. Okay. Uh, it looks like none of that's going to be Overhead Mountain. Which is really nice. Um, let's go ahead and actually mine that part so they can at least go through here. Oh, get back down here. Peaceful caravan? Move on. Always worries me. Uh, worries me when we get those caravan pop-ups, but... Looks like it's all right. Caravan's back home, too. Okay, that's all in the work zone. Okay, caravan's back with the plasteel. Uh, let's go ahead and 
get our animals to the dumping zone. Uh, I need to name some more of the animals too. Uh, here we are. Dump, 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 dump. Okay, I think that's all of them. Oops. So we got like 400 plasteel from that. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I get us some uh, more prosthetics going. Rest hallway pathways east section of the map. Yeah, yeah. I really do want to do a golden one, which is just uh, overly excessive. But it's what this whole run is overly excessive, honestly. All right. The pony pile. <laughs> Put your all the bacon. Maybe I've been thinking about it. Versus are you when you get home from work immediately just crash. <laughs> they need a button that dumps all animal storage at once. A lot, yeah. I bet there's a mod for it. I was just thinking I need a mod to make uh, unloading the caravan faster, yeah. Uh, all right, so we do have a botanic leg. Uh, who's another person that's working away from home quite a bit? Sim. Sim, you already have one leg. It's updated. Silver Lion. We could just go in order and give everyone one leg, one eye. But. Which we's on an insulting three. That's not the breakdown we want. That's not the breakdown we want. Um, our squared's running pretty far every day, too. He already has one bionic leg, though, so his movement's already 112. Um, who else is going? Suru. Yeah, they're actually... Uh, that would help a lot, because replacing their left leg, they'll no longer have that um, old gunshot wounds. So, let's go ahead and do that. Place uh, left leg, and they have reduced movement because of both field hands. So, left leg. Oh, my God. Social fight with a gun? Stall bionic leg, left leg. Uh, Suru. Are you guys all right? I heard a gunshot. What the crap? Uh, all right. Suru, get to the legendary hospital bed, please. There are 10 plus. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're gonna have so much excess food. So much food. Oh crap. Uh, they filled that in the wrong order. Luna, 28 months. It's almost full year. Something, something, Christmas miracle. What if I turn it on Christmas? Just just to make it a Christmas miracle. Lunar, thank you for the resub. How's it going, Lunar? Now that you've been in your brand new house for a few weeks. How's it going? How are you liking it? <laughs> thank you again, Lunar. Ponscum has collapsed. Did he? Ponscum collapsed? I didn't even notice that. Why? Oh, it's because I didn't let him... Why are you unloading it there? Uh, it's because I didn't let him... Um... Oh, we need to get legs on him, too. I didn't let him rest. I just had him do the caravan and then drill and then come straight back without resting. <laughs> Stream exhausted, yeah. 
Let's just reach the right. It's going good. Yeah. Ravenously hungry on Trevor. Just get up and eat. There we go. Wonko is in serious pain. We can't do anything about it. Um, the only way to get rid of this is... I mean, we could let him have drugs, I suppose. Or we can get healing mech serum at some point. Uh, soaking wet. There's this... Going fine. Same thing here. We can't get rid of the mangled scar on his brain without healing serum. We can dull it with drugs. Drum paradox, real quick. Why my animals in danger? I think it's starving. Oh, no, no. It's, it's one of the ones that has uh, extreme flu. That's right. Scar on brain and torso. Yep. Yeah. It's raining. That's going to destroy a a little of that. It's all right. Just don't want any uh, fires to last through the rain. Why does the Siru have a face? They're having surgeries. So they flopped over on their side. And because I have it zoomed in, uh, we just can't see that. They just got a bionic leg. So we can actually change that to more drugs. F these crops in particular. That's right. Oh, now he's after the horses. Gonna interview for a promotion. Awesome. New car, new house, new promotion. Looks like everything is coming up lunar. Not the drugs, Randy. Not the drugs. We need those drugs. When I real medical beds, we just haven't needed them yet. Not really. Um. The legendary bed already has a 130% increase to surgery. Um, I've been, I've started to make some medical beds when we have inspirations for higher quality. Try to get mass work and legendary only, but yeah, we just haven't needed them really yet. But beef jerky, Kit Kats, Nestle Crunch minis. Sounds good. It's like 100 animals and multiple tasks better. Good question. I'm working on it. <laughs> Money and also salary instead of hourly. Yeah, that can be dangerous. I remember when I got moved to salary and I was so happy about it. Really bad for surgery chance? Uh, I believe so. Let's. Do I have a masterwork bed nearby so we can compare? Masterwork bed? There we go. So let's compare a masterwork bed to a masterwork surgery or a hospital bed. So 116% uh, chance on the surgery success at just a masterwork. We have legendary ones we're using, but I want to compare, you know, the same quality. Uh, so 116, 107. Those, those are the numbers we're really looking at. 116, 107. 127, 111. So it's not that much better, honestly. And it takes a lot more materials. Uh, and if you compare it with a legendary, the legendary normal bed actually has a better uh, surgery success rate than the masterwork hospital bed. Interestingly. The research is just quality builder, legendary medical beds? No, we don't have that many, that many resources yet. Not quite. Oh my God, we have so many sculptures. So many. So many sculptures, so many sculptures. Okay. Yeah, we have at least uh, four legendary beds, yeah? Siru is confused. It's all right. It's mainly because of the aesthetic. Uh, yeah. The anesthetic. That's what I meant to say. 
Uh, yeah, they had the flu, but it'll be okay. Uh, we don't need these over here anymore. Whoa. Okay, any other fires after the rainstorm? I don't think so. God, it's so far away. <clears throat> we need like four wheelers or something. <laughs> There's mods for all that kind of stuff. Did you guys finish that? Stop fighting fire to go eat? I don't think so. All right. Okay, ship is here. Finally sell our drugs. Tree three times keeps growing on the edge of the map. It's programmed not to grow near structures, I think, to some extent. So, technically, what I what you could do is build like a pillar every so often, close-ish to the edge of the map, and maybe that would force it to spawn inward some, but that seems like a lot of work, yeah. I was having the same problem. That's one reason why the seed is so good. Uh, too old. 27 tough cannibal fast walker. Hmm. They can fight too, so maybe. Maybe. Careful shooter nudist. I'm looking for plant working, um, cooks, and, uh, Maybe really good crafters. Pyromaniac, no. Uh, I mean, we have one pyro. No, one pyro is already enough. Look how much money we have. Holy crap. Let's just buy your chocolate. Help make people happy. Buy all your components. Buy all your medicine. We can't even sell them all of our Psych 8T. Holy crap, man. We have so many drugs. So many. Um, I mean, we, we can't even sell our. Maybe I should get Nutramine now. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Finally, start doing that. Uh, all right, we'll take all your Nutramine. Okay. So what I need to do now is make um, Penoxicillin times four, make Penoxicillin times one. We're gonna make it uh, until we have 50. Man, that's crazy. But do it till we have 50. Uh, pause until we're at like 40. Do until we have 50. Pause until we're at 40. Then I need to set up the penoxicillin thing assignment. So I've had five each candy because of the diabetes. That's why you bought jerky too. Much less carbs. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be careful. Some of the jerky it has so much sodium in it. But other than that, they're usually pretty decent for you. So you want to splash one? Uh, we just bought someone too. What was their name? Komodo. All right. I got to name them. Who's next in the queue? Yeah. The most people I've had until this colony is about 24-ish. So this is a... New one for me, too. All right, Yanni, you are in. Yanni Moose. Cooking and construction and fighting. Okay. Yanni. Let's put you on construction primary so we can have you help with uh, plants. Or, not plants, traps. <laughs> Cooking secondary. And uh, you can... Search for treasure. 
you have nothing else to do. Okay. Schedule. Uh, we'll put you on the third schedule, the one that's least populated at the moment. Fight if you're attacked. Wear range clothing. Eat fine meals. Don't do drugs. All right, cool. Yeah, I can start making good medicine. That's true. I think penoxidin is probably more important right now to us, but... Ash like 10 months, double digits. Thank you, Ash like. Very much appreciated. Much love to Ash like for the support too. Thank you, Ash like. You use control. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've used it before. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes I use it and sometimes I don't, but uh, yeah, you can use shift or control and I think you can use the combination to go up even higher. So like, make psychic T, let's, let's look. Control goes up by 10. Uh, shift goes up by 100, and control shift goes up by 1,000. <laughs> Thanks, no lie. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. How do we eat RimWorld? Become a drug lord. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, we've already, like, destroyed that chocolate. Let's go on pilot wash. We'll go back in. Doing all right. Stuff, how you doing? Are we winning? Yeah. I think... I think. Okay. Let's set up a new drug thing here. Let's just make a new one. Uh, so new policy. Noxicillin. Uh, for addictions, we'll leave that on actually. So we're gonna keep one penoxicillin in inventory. We're gonna take it on a schedule uh, every five days. So penoxidillin lasts for five days, and if they have one in their system, they'll have one in their inventory, and then as soon as that one in their system uh, ends, they'll immediately be able to take another one. Uh, let's also, do we want to schedule Psychite T? I mean, there's some problems with it. Um, no, okay. I, I'm not going to do it with this one. We might eventually if mood becomes a problem, but for now, I think I'm just going to do this. Okay. Uh, and then we'll do our T one, and this one we'll add penoxidin to as well. Once every five days. Keep one in inventory. Okay, so now we need to go through here and switch everyone to penoxicillin. Uh, and then chemical interest, we put on T. Chemical interest on T. Chemical fascination on T. Done. Will them have T? Maybe. We would be having more inspirations, that's for sure. What's the do? And you have a thousand hours in world, just on Steam. How's it going, Dex? What the control and shift click stuff? Hey, Plasteel. Gotta hope that one's close. Uh, that might be deceptively closer than it looks, cause there's a road, two days away. We need the Plasteel. Let's do it. Noxicillin. Uh, I can go over it in just a sec. Let me set this up, and then I'll I'll go, I'll go over it. Uh, so we are going to take Scorpio and Pond Scum uh, and all the pack animals, every pack animal. Just in case. Travel supplies, we're going to take... Um, 15 pack survival. 10 fine meals. Kind of overkill, but again, just to be safe. Take some herbal medicine. Both beds. All right. Head on out. Uh, relationship. Okay. So, penoxicillin is a uh, medicine that you can unlock and make at the uh, drug lab. So, what penoxicillin does. Uh, let's go in here. 
So Panoxicillin, if it's in their system, it will block uh, malaria, sleeping sickness, and the plague. So uh, they take one Panoxicillin, it lasts for five days, and if they would have gotten either malaria, sleeping sickness, or plague, it'll completely block it. You'll still get the alerts. The alert will say like that event happened, but then it'll tell you that Panoxicillin blocked it. So um, it can be really awesome, really awesome. And that schedule that I set up just makes it so that they take it every five days and they'll have one in their inventory. That way, as soon as it runs out, they'll immediately pop another one. How's it going, Reezy? Welcome in. MVP, welcome back. Is that what you were asking, MVP? Did you die? No, no one's died. 15 day startup period was active and your nerves were shot by the end of it. Separate 12 hours before the launch. That wasn't fun. Did you, did you get it though? Did you get the launch? Was that your first launch? Yeah, the problem is you have to buy the Nutramine, uh, which is only from traders in the base game. Well, you can't produce it yourself. Not used to the new icons. Yeah, I got a mod to make them larger since with so many people, they were tiny. Yeah. Exotic goods. Father lubricants. Which are fourth or so. First time I bit your mode though. Gotcha. Gotcha. So how many people did you escape with? Did you take the pet? Did you take the dog with you? Buy your Nutramine components, advanced components. Buy all your Plasteel, your Soothe Pulsar. Invisibility. Hmm. Already sounded tantrum. I gotta go take care of that just in case it's breaking something terrible. Okay, I gotta take care of that. Where, where are you? Where are you going, Rix? Anti-green warhead. Uh, maybe. I mean, it'd be nice for, like, mech clusters. Sieges. Rix now wandering, sadly. I guess that's better. I guess that's better. Oh, I was about to say, where are you going, Pond Scum? But he's, you know, heading out on his uh, adventure to get more Plasteel. That's where he's going. Oh, destroying an anti-green. I thought you were saying they had one for sale. No, we don't have any, luckily. So we know he wasn't going for that. But uh, Finn got angry earlier in the game and took out our entire stack of uh, um, incendiary shells and managed to not have any permanent damage from it. <laughs> Love to see that happen just once. Ugh. All right, now, was there anything else I wanted to sell them? We actually got rid of all of our tea. Nah, we're good. What are our central firefighting tools? <laughs> Total of nine bonded pets and 24 colonists. Wow. That was a big ship launch, man. I usually send one person. <laughs> Sam, who punched a mortar and got his arm blown off. Oh, and this one, yeah. That's true, yeah. Friggin' Sam. We can see him. We're going right by the enemy settlement. Get a bad feeling about this. Bad feeling about this. All right, I need to name the rest of the puppies. 
been too long without me naming animals that we're actually going to use, so. Uh, alright. Alright, and I think we're probably going to do away with the pigs, finally. Next in the naming queue is Tank. Oh, that used to be the name of an awesome Thrumbo we had. Uh, this husky's name, whoops, is Cat, of course. This one is... Well, you know, it's also Cat. I'm going to have to increase the cost of the uh, pet naming. This one's also Cat. And this one's also Cat. Uh, and this one is Dante. Dante. Uh, the pigs that can haul, I'm actually going to let them be unrestricted for just a little bit. And we'll kill these ones. Lord of the Rings, your first game had a ship with 60 plus crypto sleep caskets. Like 54 colonists and 8 to 10 pets, that's insane, yeah. It's still a lot of material, man, no matter the difficulty. This is fine. Gather in a builder. No character limit for pet names? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, but then people will be like, name it cat. Instead of just naming it cat. Follower that build up points like it. Yes, yes, it is. I really do appreciate it. Wonko? What's going on, Wonko? Serious pain? Oh, right. You're the one with the pain in their torso. Uh... What if I let you have drugs, Wonko? What if, what if, what if I do that? You want some drugs? All right, Wonko. You have drugs. Calling goodbye forever. We're not at 50, we're at 46. <laughs> Quote 2734. Let's get PP straightened out and start this new year with a bang. Oh my lord. Yeah, that's a quote. Can you look at a specific quote? Yep. Yeah. Do exclamation quote in a space and the number you would like. Warren. Warren, thank you for the host. Very much appreciated. Uh, those joining from Warren's stream, welcome or welcome back. I'm Adam. It's Adam vs. Everything, and we are doing uh, some crazy RimWorld challenges, which I know you're used to from Warren's stream. Also do no pause, hardest difficulty. Uh, we're on 500% actually, uh, which is losing is fun. Cranked up almost, or more than double difficulty. Uh, it's been really crazy. But we've rushed wealth so much that we have a massive colony. In fact, we have so many pawns that the icons got so tiny that I ended up getting a mod tonight to make their icons larger. So, <laughs> uh, Jin, welcome back. Thank you for coming over. Uh, Atrox, welcome back. Thank you for coming in. Playing box, thank you for the follow. Uh, I'll do the opening spiel of the stream again once I'm sure people aren't getting a uh, pre-roll ad. McDoom, good to see you again. What's going, Mick? Welcome back. Uh, so yeah, I'm Adam. This is Adam vs. Everything, and we do challenge runs of strategy games, both turn-based and real-time. Uh, we are currently doing a RimWorld challenge. You can do Exclamation Challenge if you'd like to see what's going on. But uh, we are seeing how hard we can break the game on the hardest difficulty and how long we can survive. Pretty much. But Exclamation Challenge will tell you exactly. Uh, Nick, welcome back. Yeah, but you can summon a specific number quote just like Phoenix did. Aztec, welcome back in. Thank you, Warren. How is how is your run going? It's been a couple of streams since I was able to hit your uh or check out your run. More name requests. More name. Thank you, there's the challenge, yeah. We are using quality life mods. No Warren is a devout non modest. Uh, we are using quality of life stuff only, so exclamation mods will, that link that Hysteric just posted, will let you see what uh, quality of life mods we're using. Uh, a raid! Oh, it must be enormous. Uh, the game's lagging. It must be pretty crazy. I don't even have time to see. Just gotta pull... Oh, they're attacking immediately from a lot of angles. 
Uh, animals inside the walls. Don't have time to see. Pigs get to meat shield. Uh. Uh, okay. We need more shooting spots sometime. Okay. I actually think we're fine. They're pretty split up. Uh, let's assign everyone to defense. Do we have any crazy... So they were following some of our animals and stuff. Yeah, they're breaking the benches that we had sitting around. Uh, it's tribal. It's actually a much smaller tribal raid than our last one, which is very weird. Attacking immediately. Slave ship is here. Okay, well, it's gonna have to wait. Uh, you guys can actually clean and stuff. That's fine. So these animals we can actually pull out a meat shield. Let's uh, put all the animals to the dump zone at the moment. Are you guys almost there? No, okay. All right, they're finally coming. Entire tribes out of people. Yeah, this is like a third of the size of the last one, which is weird. They all plop down for a nap, yeah. Uh, You guys get out of the tunnel. I don't think we need the turrets, but I just kind of want to see it. <laughs> oh my lord. That's a lot of DPS, guys. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab you guys. We're going to get ready to flank them as they run. Flanking time. Let's grab. Uh, we don't even have time to check. Just capture. 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 Uh, they already broke all the doors, unfortunately. All right. Okay, animals back to unrestricted for our hauling animals. Which is almost all of them right now, actually. Our other animals are gone, so. Gotta remember the slave ship is here. Although I wanted a hysteric on that. Uh, it can wait a second. It can wait. Jer, capture. R squared, capture. Where's Sim? She needs to start burning corpses. Sim, are you happy? Uh, you don't have food. Are you about to eat, Sim? You are. So after you get done eating, come down. Corpse session with ice fans, okay. Social fight, whatever. I'll catch you in chat after uh, we stabilize from all this crap. Did you guys get to your destination? No. 
No. Alright, Sim, did you eat your food? Where are you? Lost track of you. These new uh, bars get used to it. There you are. There you are. Yeah, you're happy enough to burn corpses. Burn corpses. We'll check which prisoners we actually saved after this. Alright, how's it going, Pine Scum? Welcome in. There's a lot of raiders. We've had bigger raids, though. To your battle station. Let's eat and get ready for bed. Gotcha. Thank you, Jin. I won't even need them. <laughs> Let's go to Ash, like. Thank you again. Turret's satisfying to watch. Yeah, especially the sound of those auto turrets. The thum, thum, thum. A kid burning at ants. <laughs> Never enough DPS. <laughs> Ponscap, thank you for the 100 bits. Donate their organs to the colony. They wouldn't have walked in front of the bullets. Yeah, that's our, that's our uh, side prison. I need to put more beds over there. I do need to do that. Okay. Uh, we need to get these doors back. This one especially needs done. At least the first two. Uh, a lot of corpses to deal with. A lot of corpses. Okay. Slave ship is still there, so let's check it out. Where's Hysteric? Uh, let's hit the Soothe Pulsar, too. There we go. That should counteract seeing all these corpses. Let's go on, Tio. All right. Um, what are you guys selling? You can fight. But other than that, don't care for you. But yeah, thank you guys for coming in from Warren Stream. Very much appreciated. Uh, if you're looking for more RimWorld channels, feel free to follow. Uh, RimWorld's our main game at the moment. We're always doing no pause challenges. Sanguine, pretty. Sanguine is really good. Pretty can cause some problems. No dumb labor or plant work, unfortunately. And they're 61. And they're body purists, so we're going to go with no. We're going to go with no. Uh, we'll sell them our Psych 8C. Buy all their components. They don't have a lot, but... Buy all their chocolate, too. Sell them our... Um... Oh, actually, we want to break down the marine armor. We don't want to sell those. We didn't get uh, stuff back from it. Okay. Uh, Sin is still burning corpses. We're getting this back up. All right, let's see what prisoners we actually got from this. We got a tough, fast walker who can fight. So we might recruit them. I'm going to go ahead and set it as uh, reduce. That way I can just go through it in a little while. And if I see reduce, I know that I have already looked at them. Underground Sandrist. They could get good at crafting. I'll probably just take their organs instead. Super immune, but abrasive. Yeah, so we got one possible recruit. Oh, yeah, I need to... Uh, I was thinking about that command earlier, actually. I still haven't gotten that set up. Shim's gotten a social fight. Let him have herbal medicine. In fact, right now... Put herbal medicine on both of the ones that are hurt. And we need to force them to make these uh, doors. We gotta get these back up. Oh, that's why. That's why. Everyone back on work schedule. Work zone, I should say. Okay. Uh, we've arrived the blast deal. Doesn't look like there's enemies here. Don't see any enemies. All right. Pond scum, go ahead and... Use your drill arms and mine all this blast deal. Uh, which horse has the meals on it? Pack survival meal. There's one. Actually, go ahead and eat that. Scorpio, you go ahead and eat one too. 
and then load the rest. Okay, pond scum, hit that up. Major break on R squared. What's going on, R squared? Observed a corpse. We're working on it. How's it going, Rick? Welcome in. Sleep ship. Yeah. Yeah, there wasn't really uh, any great ones that time, though. Sim, you're still working on burning corpses. It's fine. Keep it going. Um, I thought I told my character to build this. Oh, right. Uh, I was going to, but then... A social fight, man. What's this about? Muzz flagrantly insulted Gravitas' eating habits, driving them into a rage. Whatever. Dead bodies won't be upset anymore. It, it literally was a raid that you participated in. I just killed this guy. Ew, it's a dead body. I think you'd be used to it by now. Fight, fight. You never got the message of the giveaway? Or check your are you sure I sent it? Check your whispers, like specifically bring my name up in the whispers and see if you have it. Maybe it just didn't alert you. Dumanas, welcome in. Just in time for a fight. Yeah, yeah, we just finished killing a bunch of tribals. We didn't even use this kill box for them. That would have been way overkill. Anything else on this map? Uh, we actually get the steel while we're here. We might as well. Uh, is that it? That looks like it to me. Now you feel silly? Told you, you have to check those specifically or else... Yeah, no worries. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Twitch is weird about it. Yeah, you won't see a whisper alert sometimes for... Uh... I've had people reply to me, like, literally two or three years later. And I'm like, I sent that two years ago. And they're like, what? I just got it today. It's Twitch, yeah. That's just Twitch. How tired are you guys? Can I go ahead and send you home? I'll let you rest a little bit. I know we brought sleeping rolls, but oh well. Uh, so Shims dropped their weapon during that. Gotta make sure we pick that back up. And they're able to be up. Uh, we got that door done. We really need to get that one on too. Or super glue. I know he can also. All right, super glue. Get that door made. Traps are almost done. Uh, come on, Wonko. Finish up. Are you going to be the first one done or what? Is Kaz going to beat you? Oh, these traps take so long. All right, Wonko, get that wall done. Hey, we got some bionic legs. I think I'm gonna put those on Pond Scum when he's back. If interpersonal rivalry is being, or will bring the colony down, maybe. We've had a lot more social fights, yeah. Should probably start working on a fourth set of schedules and put people that are likely to fight people on that other one so it overlaps less. But I mean, it's hard not to have people overlap and there's 50 or almost 50 people running around, you know? All right. Let's go ahead and uh, reform the caravan and head on home. Bring all the steel, all the plast steel. I didn't get as much this time. Not as much. Around with a happy stick. Uh, Thing is melee practice. It, yeah, that's one of the things. Like almost every time we have a social fight, I see someone's melee level up. It's like oh. That'll do. Yeah, 352 is absolutely worth the trip for the Plasteel. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still happy overall with it. Put 
way yeah fat way faster than weight on a trader for sure and that's like the main thing that's uh that we're limited by right now is plasteel so happy with that become a mechanoid <laughs> yeah pretty much you have two drill arms and now you're gonna have two uh legs i'll probably just replace one leg at a time though until we have that on everyone Who's another person that's r going far away from the base? Sam? Yeah, Sam is quite a bit, huh? Because he's hauling and cleaning. Sam went from the one-armed drug addict to... Wrong stick. <laughs> to a bionic man. Happy bionic man. Okay. Um, we're almost done rebuilding. I want to let them finish this. Just hauling? Oh, yeah, for Sam. Um, let me double check him. Because we actually don't need hauling as much. I should probably put him back on, uh, primarily cleaning. Oh, right, he can't clean. That's why. We initially got him for hauling. Now we have animals hauling for us. Hmm. I could have him work with the animals, and that would allow me to turn someone down on animals instead. Uh, let's do that, actually. So if I put him on one for animals, that will allow us to put either super glue. He's already at three on it. Um, let's see. Zeno is our main handler. I put Wonko down on it. And they can help with construction more if I do that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, and Cable will clean you. Oh yeah, no worries, man. No worries. We can rebuild him better, stronger, faster. We found some more underground steel. How are we doing on steel up here now? 2,500. That mountain. Shims, you're still down, man. You could actually walk. So let me grab your gun before I forget to give you it again. Uh. All right, so this cornfield is becoming drugs so is this one this is almost all fixed Doors are back on. We got the new geothermals almost done also. Are we missing something from that? Someone's already on their way doing it. Give the new guy a gun. Oh, I need to make one. Yeah. Um, we can give them a heavy SMG to start with. Yanni. Put everyone aside from our melee on nine hunting. That way uh, we get the alert if they don't have a weapon because it'll say hunt your lax ranged weapon. And then we know that someone's not carrying their ranged weapon. It's four more until we get to the magic. Um, yeah, the 50 that we wanted to get to. Yeah. He's going woozy. Welcome in. Crazy amount of people. I know. I know. About twice the number that I've ever had before. Pretty much. Finn's hiding in the room. Well, Finn, that is everyone's room, so have fun with that. Sephora should be prepared to move up to Sport Manager by January. Nice, Woozy. That's awesome, man. 
I mean, as long as you want the position, which I assume you do. Just butchered your Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, I hope you're talking about RimWorld. <laughs> Mixie. <laughs> Are you one of them? Uh, I don't believe you're in yet. You do? That's awesome. Um, is it an hourly position or uh, salary out of curiosity? First found out about this production you're interviewing for. So hourly. Now that you have done this type of run, or your thoughts, and would you do it again? My thoughts on the time-based mode is that it is a different game. It's a different play style that is harder in the early game and easier in the later game. That's what I think. I think if you can get ahead of the raid curve on the time mode, it actually becomes easier. Part of that, though, is that we have so many people. We have so much firepower. But again, because we got ahead of the curve. So would I do time mode again? Uh, maybe. I would like to try it against Cassandra and see how that is. So I'll probably do one more 500% one someday. All right, got some shooting skill in. Get your resume ready with no context. Just sitting there like... That's good, yeah. That means they uh, they definitely want you for the job, you know. Highest paid non-salary position. That's awesome. Yeah. I was talking earlier. Like, I remember when I was working and uh, I got promoted to a salaried position. And I was so excited. Uh, but then I was working like double hours. And so when I averaged out the pay per hour, I was actually making about the same, you know, per hour if I had worked all those hours as an uh, hourly uh, employee. So it wasn't all that it was cracked up to be. Yeah, no overtime. <laughs> the early recruits are what let me stay alive ahead. Yeah, so two things. We rushed wealth so that I could buy slaves early, and I also managed to get that word of trust. Word of trust that allowed us to recruit prisoner, any prisoner that we wanted. It was very easy to recruit them with word of trust. And then with all the money we had from um, the drug trade, we were able to buy slaves and weapons and things. So after about 20 days into this, we started to get ahead of the curve and uh, it, we just never let up. 4 to 5 a.m., make it worth it. What are your new hours going to be, Ludar? Woozy, are your hours going to stay the same? Uh, we don't have that conduit all the way attached, apparently. Oh, that's weird. I missed that one little spot. It'll be 11 to 7. It's 30, it's still 730. It'll be flexible, the small amount of core hours, and X amount of work or hours to choose beyond that. Gotcha. You're over 200 days in with no slave traders, please. Who are you playing on, out of curiosity? Playing on Randy. It's bad luck then, I guess. We've had really good luck in this run all together. It's really odd that we had a... Uh, I'm guessing a split raid like that. Uh, is less unit number per point because uh, like 200 days ago, 200 in-game days ago, we had a bigger tribal raid than that, which is weird. Of course, that one that we had before was uh, they prepared before they attacked. <gasps> what is all this? Uh, why do people always bite other people's toes and fingers off? Anyway, the 130 man one or whatever it was, they prepared before they attacked um, and it was one group. So maybe that's a different point set up. Empire of Sin, I need to look at it more. We uh, raided Burke on Tuesday and I looked at it a little bit while I was eating before I went to bed. Um, but I need to look at it some more. It looks interesting though, especially the tactics based system, uh, combat system. So I wouldn't mind playing it. 
rest of the day in the past few years. Third, second, third again, second again, first again. What you at now? How's it going, Raider? Welcome in. You guys almost back? Yeah, okay. So right now, I recommend let it cook for a bit. Uh, speaking of bugs, <laughs> uh, I actually have a bounty I'm going to do tomorrow, not tonight, for Phoenix Point. Phoenix Point is now uh, officially on Steam, and I really liked Phoenix Point when we played it a year ago. It's been a year since we did our hard mode run of Phoenix Point on Epic. Um, the developers sent me Steam key with all the new DLC. Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, how far away is that Plasteel? Two and a half days there, two and a half back. It's probably still worth. It's worth. So I don't know if I'll do a full playthrough of um, Phoenix Point, but I really did like it last year. Challenge on YouTube, you love it. The real kind of fire, Fire God. <laughs> Thank you, Fire God. Yeah, my the tiny map playthrough is probably my favorite playthrough I've ever done. Uh, this one will go up on YouTube as well. I need to start uploading it actually. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to upload the full parts of this, not in like 30 or an hour segment, so you won't have to change videos as often, but bye guys. Thank you for coming over from YouTube and let me know. Current run, have not had Slave Trader yet. Start Tribal. Let's affect the traders you get. I don't think so. But yeah, that's, that's weird too. We've had quite a bit. Quite a bit traders. Let's go and nerf. Welcome back. Most of the a warg self tamed. Okay, a warg self tamed. Um. Mm. All right, it's fine. Most raiders probably get to the edge of our map and are like, nope, nope. All right, we'll name this warg. We'll even train it. We'll even train him to fight. Okay. Alright, what's the next name in the animal naming queue? Okay, Caravan is back. It's No Kill Me Adam. No Kill Me Adam by Oswald. Uh I never kill any of our animals on purpose. Alright, let's uh, put these in the dumping zone. One's bonded to Zeno. Uh, uh, mm, don't like that. Colony manager mod. I've never really used it. Yeah, so I don't. I don't really have any um any experience on it. So I have to try it out. I. Once I get through a few more of these uh, guides I'm working on right now for for RimWorld, I would like to do a series where I just go through like three to five mods and then upload it along with like what they do and what my thoughts are on them. But I haven't gotten to that yet. So I'll just try it out sometime. Surprised it was a cat. Yeah, me too. Uh, watch for the cat for a bit. Alrighty, R squared. Thank you, man. Wargs are a pain. Yeah, they only eat meat, right? And they have a lot of wildness. But we can use it as a meat shield. At least. Mm. Well, a good trader. Awesome. We got some corn to sell you and some drugs. And they'll have plasteel. Yeah, the next RimWorld uh, run I'm going to do after this is a solo challenge where we're going to only have one person the entire run. And I'm thinking about not using mods on that run at all. Perhaps, perhaps. Okay, got all that. Alt goods. Did I brush my mustache? Not really. Although, 
It's probably I'm probably finally gonna shave soon. <laughs> it's this has been more out of laziness than the most anything else. How's it going, Chris? Welcome in. Six ton of the team out of the game, the micromanaging stuff. You don't like to mess with gadget. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean if you like it, you know, use whatever you want. But I haven't tried it out yet. Excited to see that with all the turrets. Vanilla single person? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. See if we can launch the ship on uh, losing its fun with a single person. Should be fun. Should be fun. Uh, all right. Let's sell all of our rice. Buy all their components, all their advanced components. Uh, we'll sell them all of our leather. I'm even going to sell them our thrombo fur. Oh my god. We're going to buy all their steel. All their plasteel. We still need to buy more things. We are so wealthy. So wealthy. What else you guys got? You got a gun link? Uh, uh, what else do I want to buy from you? Not Nothing really. Buy your medicine. There we go. It's good enough. Solo naked brutality? Yeah. Tribal? I don't know. Maybe. I wouldn't mind doing it that way. That sounds like a good plan. A mod that prevents joint events. You can turn those off in the scenario editor. So I think the only mod I would use is the no pause mod. Just to... Turrets and meat shield animals. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's meat shield of German. That is a lot of pause. How's it going, Ixen? Welcome back. Buy more gold? <laughs> I mean... We have 900, but maybe. Another exotic goods? All right. Grab all of your components, all your advanced components. Grab all your plasteel. Holy crap. Psychic Soothe Pulsar, I'll take that. buy their gold too it's tempting start working on our golden our golden uh road it's tempting probably shouldn't promise for 50. gotta kill focus persona mono sword to give it to your wizard kill four squirrels give someone inspiration <laughs> What year are we at? I think we're about to be in six. What I keep in the utility slot? So, shield belts on my melee, usually. And then, um, uh, shock lances and, uh, smoke pop, mainly on our range at the moment. So, nothing too fancy yet. Shield belts, smoke pop, and a couple of lances. Basically, Jeff Bezos in RimWorlds. Yeah, I mean, we could get the tech prints just to have the rest of them. Maybe I should do that, and then we can get rid of our research benches entirely. Jump packs, yeah, I haven't made any yet this run. Uh, oh, that was the bolt goods, right? One exotic. South Park, yeah. How's it going? Uh, Scab, welcome back, by the way. Thank you for coming back. How's your stream been going, Scab? Uh, I'll just grab those two. I want to save some money. Apply that tech print. Uh, Sim. 
Apply that one. How in the world do we get a wonder event? What the crap? Oh, uh, you better be good. We should not be getting a wonder event. Slowpoke, staggeringly ugly. 56. Slowpoke, we can overcome a bionic leg. Staggeringly, uh, incapable of violence. They're really good at plants, though. We should not be getting an auto joint event. How about we get to 50? What the crap? Another incapable of violence person. That's really annoying. I could banish them. It's only minus three. They have a bad back too? All right, I'm banishing you. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come for tea and chocolate. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's go home. We can't stay here. That's right. Uh, good boy. Welcome in. Let me know if you have any questions. Little hands. I don't know, man. They're old. They have a bad back. I'd have to give them a spine. I don't like any of their stats other than the uh, plants. So good boy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hey, we can actually research again. So let's get compact weaponry, I suppose. Why banish free organs? We have so many organs. In fact, we're going to take more from these guys. Harvest left lung, harvest left kidney, harvest hearts. Harvest right lung, harvest right kidney, harvest liver. There we go. Character all at once, I know. Anonymous. Anonymous, thank you for the 666 cents. May Krampus wish you well these holidays. I gotta get those sounds re-added. Oh, I gotta work on that this weekend. Anonymous, I don't know who you are, but thank you for the support. Very much appreciated. Bad back, peg leg, slow poke, old, incapable of violence. <laughs> it's being weird, the first time you tried to run XCOM Chimera Squad in August said you didn't meet the minimum system requirements. It's earlier today, you ask yourself what you want to do next. You thought about Chimera Squad? System specs, the computer can handle them pretty easily. Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah, I wouldn't think coming here squad was really hard on the system. FG, welcome back. What year are we on? I think we're on year six. Any major events? Uh, the only thing that happened this raid or run so far or tonight so far is a raid. Anonymous, thank you for the 666. What happened to my sounds? Thank you, Anonymous. Uh, so when I switched everything over to the new alerts, I haven't had time to set up the newest sounds. But uh, I do have some on the on the soundboard, so let's just go through all the soundboard ones in honor of the last few donations. All right, here we go. What all we got? We got. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. It's very true. Yay! Yay! <laughs> all aboard the hype train. It's a good one for this situation. Fetching, fatherly, and fabulous. I wonder who Wayne's talking about there. Hungry, cheesy, about to snack. <laughs> Hungry, cheesy. Why is that on two buttons? No fun allowed. No fun allowed. Your mom said to say that I could have just one peanut butter square, but not till after they cool down <laughs> uh anyway anonymous thank you for the donation i don't know if it was the same person or not but i appreciate it do appreciate it <laughs> how's it going what's up welcome in beat up on earlier and the guy was like i'm going there yeah maybe maybe major break on entropy he's our artist so we don't really care artists are supposed to be starving and break down we know this uh so do we really want this one to join tough fast walker uh they can fight they have a itchy torso so they're gonna have a minus five mood that we just can't deal with without healing serum and they're not like amazing amazing teetotaler as well yeah i've changed my mind on them they're gonna donate organs instead 
Thank you for your donation. Very appreciated. Appreciated. <laughs> We're hungry, cheesy, about to snack. Yeah, I need to get all these re-added. I'll try to work on it on Sunday. Hey, Brom. Brom, how's it going, man? I was wondering about you. Brom, thank you for the resub. Nine months. Almost forgot this month. <laughs> thank you, Brom. Does serum work on scars? It does, yeah. So, uh, if you get a healing mech serum, you can remove scars. Yeah. Oh no, they died. Oh, Psychic Soothe is good. Fire starting spree. It's been a while. Whoa, hi, Tala. Yeah, def defensive positions. I'm not using it this time. I've used it before, but part of no pause being difficult is the scrambling to micro people into position. So I've decided to not use it this time, even though it would help so much. Put that out. I could give him an incendiary launcher and that would make Hytella happier. Might do that, actually. Just having the incendiary launcher will make him happier. You're almost done, Hytella. Set things on fire. He's just running back and forth, setting this stuff on fire. Triple dong statue? What's the... Oh, that? Is that what that is? Uh, I don't know, but now I want to read the artwork on it. Oh, Tet. Uh, I wanted to tell you, by the way, if you haven't already seen it, the series from, I think it was DreamHack this year, DreamHack Winter, uh, of Cyril versus uh, Byun. I won't tell you any spoilers, but the final game of that series might be one of the best, if not the absolute best game of StarCraft II I've ever seen. Ever, ever. It's so good. It's a 40-something minute long TBZ of just constant back and forth action, like nonstop. So if you haven't already, check out... Um, uh, Sarah versus Bjorn. I think it's Dreamhack Winter. It just happened like last week or so, but uh, it's an awesome game. Welcome in, by the way, Daniel. Try that. Never felt like seeing the silver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the serums are really good. The bad thing with the serums, uh, so serums have like a hierarchy of what it can hit, but you can't guarantee it, it hits something if they're in the same kind of hierarchy. So if you have like a a brain scar and a torso scar or something and you're wanting and the torso scar is, is worse and you're wanting it to hit that it might hit the brain scar instead heard a bit about it it was really good i watched that earlier today it's one of the best games i've ever seen mxc sunday yeah i need a post to let everyone know uh hey bit of lemons welcome back how you been lemons good to see you good to see you okay we need to get those legs installed so um uh, I'm gonna give one to Pond Scum. Install bionic leg, right leg. Let him have good medicine. And then, capable of violence, but yeah, he's mainly cooking. Surface already has them. Does anyone else have a leg issue? Uh, this person does. Who are you? Castle has one. And they were working on plants. So that's a good one to replace. Raise their left leg. Okay, good medicine. Um, stall. Bionic leg left. Go to the legendary bed. Yeah, you can give them Luciferium. And then you have to give it to them every 6.66 days. 
forever. But yeah. Luciferium is like the only thing in the game that isn't fixed by res serum too. So if someone dies and they have Luciferium in their system, if you resurrect them with mech serum, they will still have Luciferium in their system. If you resurrect someone that's missing a head, they will regrow their head, but res serum won't get rid of Luciferium. <laughs> Uh, I haven't tried it on Trauma Savant. That's a good question. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if uh, healing mech serum would, would get rid of um, Trauma Sav Savant. Which I have? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was mainly looking at... Um, one thing I've been wanting to do is um, make sure people that are planting has it. So many, I know. I know, we're trying to get to 50. Let's go on, uh, Binks, welcome in. Brain scar, rest here and won't fix the brain scar. But, you can get rid of the brain scar with, um, uh, healing serum. Whereas, you can't fix luciferium. Once they have a single dose of luciferium, I don't think there's any way unmodded to get rid of that. It doesn't, you don't think, with the, um, thanks, Bitter Lemons. <laughs> Trauma Savant. Too much bio. Too many mountains, Pond Scum is a slacker. <laughs> Pyromaniac would enjoy being set on fire themselves. You would think so. Uh, all right, Hytala. Have you equip this so uh, you'll be happier. Getting without giving the since the code separates the two. Everyone or just your starting people. Under lax range weapon. Uh, so we want to turn that off. So for Hytala, we want to turn off hunting. Our maniac has incendiary weapon. Yeah. Does Randy's difficulty raise simply at 50 plus pawns? His population curve seems to suggest it does, but we don't know by how much. So we're going to try to get there. We're going to try to get there. Okay. So I have another bionic eye also. Scan steel. How close is that? Not close at all. The worst one yet. Okay. Uh, I mean, we could do it by sight, but everyone's at 100% or more. So it's mainly just our best shooters that we want to get squared away. So who's our best shooter that doesn't have a bionic eye? Uh, I have one. Sim, I believe, has one. Yep. R squared does not have one yet. He's at a 10. Okay. So now there's Jer. So Jer has an 11. Jer and Rakes, they have one. Yeah, there we go. Kaz needs one. Kaz and Jesus. And super glue. So it looks like Jesus is getting one first. Okay, better medicine. Stall, bionic eye, right eye. Did you ask anything for Santa? No. I have not. Not asked for anything. Not yet. My wife keeps asking what I want for Christmas. I keep saying, I don't know. I don't really want anything. Space do you need between auto cannons and uranium turrets? Usually I just put a wall between them. So that way if they blow up, you don't have to worry about it. Um, so I usually just put a wall to catch the explosion. So I don't I don't actually remember how big the explosion is without a wall next to it to catch it. Yeah, stand for PS5. It's F off. 
Elves don't know how to make that stuff, man. Come on. Cinecore is officially bankrupt. They will all fry. Um. So we want to replant that corn when it's done as well. Into more drugs. Yeah, I think so. Asked you what you wanted. He basically said two bottles of wine. If you're willing to help you drink them. <laughs> People keep returning them because they're overheating. I haven't seen anything about that yet. Doesn't surprise me though. Okay. Uh, so we're making bionics and then we need to start getting these finished. Let him finish that up. Uh, we also want to put flooring in here so that it's pretty. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. More subs. Be good for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that. Please, Santa. May I have an average of 300 viewers? And can we finally hit 800 subscribers? Mm -hmm. There we go. I've asked. We want another emote, Santa, please. <laughs> Having someone idle, huh? Well, that means we should put more scanners up, probably. Sounds feasible? Yeah, maybe. maybe. Uh, is that raid all that's going to happen tonight? <sighs> Come on, Randy. Don't you want to send mechs? Do you want to send mechs? Uh, no, don't arrest. My bad. Sir. My bad. A meteorite of compacted steel. That's really close to the edge of the map there, Randy. Nasty drop pod raid. I think it would be fine. It doesn't seem like drop pods have centipedes in them anymore. Honestly. I haven't seen a drop pod with raid. Uh, I should say I haven't seen an interior based drop pod raid with centipedes in it since 1.2 came out. Don't know. That means it's not possible, but we haven't had one. Um, when we get our hydroponic set up, we'll then uh, work on spamming traps again. Peeps insult each other to death. Yeah, that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like. All right, we killed all the prisoners. Excuse me, useful stuff at the edge of the map. Yeah. <laughs> don't have any muffalos. I don't know. And I've started getting rid of all my pigs too. Don't need no stinking muffalos. How's it going? Bam, welcome back. Combat supply ship. Man, Muzz is getting just wrecked over here by entropy. Oh my lord. Minus 33 from the insults. I should really stop him. Uh, we don't have a lot of Psychite tea left to sell at the moment. Take all your components. All this tribal garbage, get that out of here. You guys are selling a marine helmet? Yeah, I might as well buy it.
Uh, I guess that's it. Could buy a Zeus hammer. Could buy another mono sword. Could buy that cataphract armor. No. That's it for now. I want to save some money. More plasteel. Guy on a buffalo. Songs. Game day kind. Sounds something she would do. Drop out Raven's Stampedes in it while powering up your ship. Interesting. All land on top of your base. Believe. Be in raids with the drop pods laying over the place. Yeah, yeah. Are they the best pack animals? Uh, I like donkeys and horses as pack animals because they are also advanced, so they can haul and they can do transport. Yeah, they used to give wool and milk, yeah. So they no longer give milk, but their fur is a little bit uh, better than it used to be as far as temperature-wise. But, yeah, muffler are fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having them. They just can't haul, unlike donkeys and horses, who can haul inside the base and also be pack animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, they're not advanced. They're uh, intermediate or whatever training. And entry is still going after people. Solar Flare, all right. Here's what we talked about. We have Solar Flare and we have a mech raid at the same time, that's what can kill us. So let's see if Randy hits us with a mech raid. Hey, Fire God, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, Fire God, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for supporting the stream. Helps me to keep streaming, usually six nights a week. Thank you, Fire God. Are hauling bots a mod? Yes. Megasloth OP. <laughs> Megasloths are so dirty. Megasloths are five times dirtier than a donkey. As long as you keep them outside. Yeah, hauling bots and things like that are mods, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Firegun. Glad you like the stream and the YouTube content, of course. They were called Megatherium. That was a long time ago, man. That was in the alpha, right? Or beta? Come on, Solar Flare, get out of here. Do you have the manual firepower to deal with 50 centipedes? I don't know. If it happens, yeah, Randy wants to see the world burn. It's like an ant colony when I zoom out, yeah. Man, I'm not even going to stop at 50. If we can get more than 50 pawns, I'm going to do it. Cat pig has given birth. I don't even remember what cat pig is. Oh, it's an actual pig. Boss bird. How's it going, Z? Welcome back. To tame 100 mega sloths. Yeah, that was insane. The 100 mega sloths attacking the mech cluster, they destroyed it. Oh, where's Rakes? Uh, we can solar pinhole to help people out here. Um, yeah, let's throw one more in. Actually, let's throw one in here. People are walking through here a bit. Yeah. Let's see what I call it. Jade Colony. Yeah. Pretty good. Brewing some tea. Watch a great stream. Thank you, Z. What kind of tea are you having? I'm a fan of tea. What are you guys doing out there? What are you hauling? Hauling wood? Why are you hauling wood? Where'd you get wood? Why, why are people chopping wood? Oh my god, we never ripped that up. It was OP, rot in his cellar. So sad. All right, power's back, so we're safe. Champarado. Probably miss. Bouncing. Red bush with milk. Leave it out there, raid bait. <laughs> no. So, if we... 
All right, let's get our hydroponics done. Once I'm done with all that, I will think about individual rooms, but that's really insane. Uh, having 50 individual rooms would be really insane. But I'll think about it. Um, I keep thinking that I might get rid of this kill tunnel, but I don't think I'm going to, because if it comes down to it and we need to come back here ever, like if something... If we keep getting hit with centipedes and they make it all the way past this kill tunnel, it'd be nice to have one more. So I think I'm just gonna leave that there. If I do individual bedrooms, I might do them around the edge, the edges of all this stuff. Right, we're going insane. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Shifts, the seriously blessed. Yeah, we thought about putting a barracks over here and like having our own. We basically thought about having like three different colonies a, a colony here, here, and here, each with their own, you know, uh, food production, growing, everything. Barracks. I don't know. Maybe. Individual jade bedrooms sound, with gold flooring sounds like a, an interesting thing to try, though. Look at all these organs! Okay, bionic legs are back. Man, if we ever get a healing serum, we really need to use it on rakes. That, his brain is barely there. Look at that. He's got 40% eating, talking, manipulation, moving, and consciousness. And he's always in pain, so. Uh, let's look at Kaz and Jesus and Craze. Kaz, let's see. She also has the brain issue. It's not as bad, though. All right, Kaz, looks like you're gonna get a new leg. Okay, and then, uh, Jesus. You're getting a new left leg as well. Sounds normal to you. <laughs> Thank you, Livin. It's good to see you again. It's been a while, man. Have a good day where you are. Did I want to eventually move into the mountain? Yeah, I kind of did, but I don't know that I'm going to anymore. I think I'm just using the mountain for a bug room and also for uh, uh, a blockade to not get it raided from the north. For indicative ricks. Take a massive met cluster for three healing serums. But oh, you forgot to accept it. Oh. That's that one you posted, right? I want three healing serums. What are the mushrooms? The mushrooms are Devil Strand. So you can research Devil Strand very early into the game. Uh, but the crop takes a very long time to grow. So um, it's best in places where you can uh, have year-long growing uh 22.5 days not accounting for nighttime obviously i suppose but if you manage to harvest the double strand that's what gives you this red cloth that's what this red cloth is and it actually has really good defensive properties especially for something that you can grow yourself for instance just a good quality duster has almost 50 percent bullet resistance and they're very um uh, uh, once it's a cloth, it's also a uh, fire resistant. Which is, you didn't really have a kill box. Gotcha. No, I didn't even notice there were modded mechs in that list. Cut this down a little bit. Yeah, it's a piglet one. That's right. Oh, 
I'm okay having some people uh, idle. It's all right. This many people, it's bound to happen. But yeah, that's what the mushrooms are, Devil Strand. So it is a base game thing that you can research. Uh, like I said, very early game. Uh, you can research Devil Strand growing. Doesn't require any uh, any other research, so no prerequisite. Um, yeah, it's a really good thing to grow if it, you know, if the map's not going to get cold before it's done. It's a really good defensive clothing that you can uh, just completely grow on your own. Shall I know? I know. We're on our way to 50. We're 46 right now. Do we have any free beds? We have one free bed. I need to start hooking some people up. Sojinor, welcome in. How's it going, Sojinor? They were coming back. Uh, let's have this door held open and this one held open. For now. We don't want a roof on this. Uh, we'll put lights in there, though. Bombin's having a tantrum. What are you breaking? It's on version 3. Whoa! Shot at someone. Keep following him just in case he tries to break anything crazy. I don't like you being down here. There's mortars over there. I thought he was going to go after the mortars or something. All right, he's done. He's done. It's started surgery. Where's R squared? We should probably start uh, using more to love on more people. Okay, so that one is done. Uh, what are you guys making? Another recon armor, advanced components. Uh, our steel stock is getting a little low. A little low. How are we doing with the drills out here? Maybe I should make a few more drills. How's it going, bombing? Bought a new used car today. Honda Element with roof racks, cargo pod, expandable slat bed, shelf, custom floor, solar panels, mini fridge, giant large capacity battery, $800 worth of maintenance, minus price of fluids, drives great, has a few dents. No more. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats. Papa Pones. How's it going, Pones? Blind long plays. Have you gotten back to playing yet? I know you said you might change your name back since you haven't to need long plays in a long time. Sounds good, man. I'm gonna end up taking his uh I accidentally gave him a bionic eye. Uh sucks usually don't take body pierced base looks insane it is insane yeah most of the map is our base now really is insane geriatric park only 55 year or older ponds <laughs> Surgery failed? What were you doing in here? Who tried to... Oh, my God. I can't believe you guys tried to take his eye out in his bed. 
just a crappy bed while he was asleep. The one time I don't selectively click for them to have the uh, legendary bed and the surgery fails, of course. How'd you crush his heart? What were you doing? <laughs> Can you take his bionic eye out and they stab him in the heart? Yeah, I accidentally gave the wrong person a, a bionic part, yeah. Yeah. I did. Fabrics, Devil Strand has the best heat armoring with textile in the game. Yeah, it's really good. Devil Strand is very good as long as you can get it grown. Um, obviously, it's not going to surpass the big boy armors for defense or whatever, but it's uh, it's good for just being a cloth, yeah, that you can grow yourself. He deserves to eat without a table. <laughs> Too deep. Uh, where? Where, where, where? Which drill? That drill? Okay. No, oh, it's that one, puppy. Wonko, you better run. That's a lot of firepower. A little overkill. Oh no, Hytel has the, uh, <laughs> it's the, uh, incendiary launcher. I gotta not draft Hytala during those things. <laughs> uh, that's right. All right, looks like we got bug meat back on the menu. Uh, saving that dog, okay, good. lived yeah someone else on their way to that yeah all right cool so don't have to worry about the um dug too deep for a little while then uh so satisfying all that firepower yeah just a little overkill just a little All right, Reezy, get in that legendary bed, please. Getting everything repaired. Very nice. Very nice. Reezy is confused. Just lay down, Reezy. Reezy's a flame. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kill the bugs, yeah. Hey, Ash, thank you for continuing the gift sub from Troubleshoots. She was thinking you for the gift sub, and Ash, thank you for renewing it. I'm sure I'll thank you again when it actually, you know, pops up, but appreciate it, Ash. What's going on, Ash? What are you doing up to, man? Get in that ledger in bed. Get in there. Uh, did we remove the steel stockpile over here? Yeah, it looks like we did. We have steel here. I just had to fill it in afterwards. You know what? That's fine. Where's Pond Scum? He'll just eat through this. Pond Scum, your time has come. We'll move Yanni down. Um, I don't always lose him. There you are. Let's melt this mountain, pond, pond scum. <laughs> I mean, turn order. Oh, yeah, that's not how it works. You mean turn order? I can explain turn order for you. Uh, let, I'll go ahead and do that. So, Ashen, how turn order works in Darkest Dungeon is that your character and the enemies all have a speed number. 
However, there is an invisible D8 that's rolled at the beginning of every round. So every time a round starts, it takes the speed number of a pawn and then it rolls a D8, D8 in the background and adds to it without you knowing what that number is. So your speed is every round can ch does change and it will be between one and eight more than what the character sheet or enemy sheet says. So the only way to make sure that someone goes 100% of the time before someone else is to have eight more speed than them. That's the only way to guarantee it. Now, the more speed that you have from one to eight over that person, the more often they'll go ahead of them, but it doesn't guarantee them going ahead of them until you have plus eight. So it's uh, speed stat plus D8 roll, uh, an eight-sided die roll, basically. Mad Gazelle. Does that make sense, Ashley? Mad Gazelle. Uh, there's a quest coming. Makes sense. All right. Nothing coming in or not? Uh, wandering confused. All right, whatever. 32 year old wants to join. They're being chased by two groups. Nope. Oh, Pond's gonna just melt in this. <laughs> My lord. You know what? There's not actually that much overhead mountain there. Whoa! All right, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. That opened up. Oh God, Cass. I think she'll be fine, but yeah, okay. Still alive in three, yeah, you are. It's not great. Yeah, it's a good thing we uh, we corralled all that off. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. The more I look at it, but it could have been earlier in the game. Um, uh, pawn scum. Pawn scum, go ahead and get this too while we see it. Insult comedy extraordinaire though. I, you insulted someone until they had minus 33 from being insulted. Minus 33. No, that's overhead mountain. Nice. Nice. Let me go on a few days out of town doing installation work. Oh yeah, yeah, no worries. Just be safe. But yeah, if you ever have any Darkest Dungeon questions, feel free to free to ask. No matter what I'm playing, you know. But yeah, that's how the turn order works in uh, Darkest Dungeon. I thought you meant the um, actual round amount, you know. Uh, actually, let's wait on these until that's done. Next time a raid happens, I need to pop the, uh, mood boost that we have left, too. Psychic Soothe Pulsar. Should probably put one of those down here, actually. The glue holding colony together. <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's how I would say it. Crunch is you're already way better now that you know. Just always crit and always dodge. 
Yeah. As long as you know how hunger works and you always crit and always dodge, game's easy. That's right. <laughs> now you know how food works, yeah. Part of a question is how it's phrased. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was answering the wrong thing initially. Do be like that sometimes. My party on Volt today, man, he can be really tough. Uh, if you get a couple bad RNG rolls, the thing about Wolf is that, especially if you take the left side to him, the left route to him, there's so much stress. There's so much stress on the way there that if you get an affliction before you get to Wolf, which is very easy to do, uh, a lot of times that little bit of poor RNG uh, is exacerbated when, when you're in there with a fight, you have someone not do what you want or whatever. Uh, yeah, Wolf fight can absolutely destroy you. You taught that every time you try to ask a question. Cats join. Oh, they're already mating. Oh, they destroyed our drill. Huh. I didn't even notice that. That's what that explosion was. They just destroyed our drill and our uh, uh, our power cell. I forgot to make those, uh, make walls around those. Cats. Here's what I wanna do. Uh, we're gonna let these cats be wild and just see how long they last out there. We're not gonna feed them. We're not gonna do anything with them. We're not gonna pet them. They are just gonna live out in the wilderness. And uh, if they survive, uh, eventually they'll clog up a raid. Better than me killing them, right? That's what I'm gonna tell myself anyway. Expand the cat area. You guys can eat corpses out here to your heart's content. Just don't come through any walls. I mean, uh, doors. And uh, we'll be... We'll be fine. Uh, I have all this closed off, so you guys can come in here too. Come in there. Look at this. This is all a cat zone. They should be happy with how much uh, how much land they have access to. Should have inversed this, but oh well. There you go. The wild cats live free. Like you were meant to be. Alright, cool. There you go, cats. Enjoy. Rex is wandering sadly. Finn is not happy. Whatever. 
didn't get into affliction you had like 75 to 80 stress yeah yeah it's really rough on the way there some of the worst stress fights in the game are on the way to wolf this bomb barrel makes the fight even worse yeah yeah that's a that's uh that's a common thing with with darkest dungeon the bomb barrel there's uh taking out the uh cross in the fanatic fight you're taking out wilbur damage to him until the game so far cat meat those are good that's true of course disposer is an appropriate dumping zone yeah yeah cats really eat through corpses fast let's go manny welcome in don't go through any, yeah don't go through any walls or doors please a group of wild cats is called a destruction a destruction of cats let's go on trevor welcome in Scorpio, do you actually have? No, not really. So many people, so many people. Yes. Your favorite wonky animal name? Always like the murder of crows ones. There's so many funky ones though. Second is rhinoceroses. Um, I don't remember the rhinoceros one. Stampede or something? I don't remember. A crash or something? I used to know, but I don't remember anymore. Crash of rhinos or something? Don't remember. Sounds about right, though. Hey, we did it. We removed his eye. There you go. Now you can stop your griping. It's a crash. Right. Crash of Bandicoots. Uh, that's how he got his name. All makes sense now. Oh, we have absolutely depleted all of our marble without me even knowing. We've used 4,000 marble recently. It's because of all these sculptures. We're just always making marble, marble sculptures. Uh, all right, let's move this. Mech Hive, they're attacking immediately. Uh, everyone, get over here. We need to open that door. Who's the closest? Lucas, come on. Open this door. Close that one. That one. Animals. Uh, all just go to the dumping zone. They're already killing some of the animals. Uh,. Lucas, open that door. We got centipedes. Oh, they're all over the place, man. Okay. Steric, get in here. stuff up somewhere
they make it through anywhere? I don't think so. I think the cats are dead, though. All right, let's see if they actually make it to the colonists. That's the question. Hold this door open. Hold this door open. Yeah, as they're on saving duty. How many centipedes do we have? Eight centipedes? All right. Hold for 30 minutes there. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to make it to your colonist. Uh, who has Word of Joy? It's, um... Uh, is it Finn? Or joy. Okay, use that on R squared. Yeah, they're not going to make it to your cost. Unless these run out of ammo, it's the only way. Uh, so I'm going to go hit the psychic pulse. Get him thin. <laughs> yeah. Ad block is given birth. No. Don't want any more of that in the world. This is crazy, guys. Holy crap. Yeah, we didn't even have to go to defensive positions at all. Cats slowed them down outside. Turrets took care of everything. As you were. This is just a silly defense. Silly defense. Uh, Someone put that out. Hauling animals back to unrestricted. Oh, unless you're a cat. Syrian. Syrian, they were the nine months. Thank you, Syrian. Very much appreciated. Uh, Yeah, we're going to keep letting... Oh, no, no, no. These ones I do want on the side. There we go. This is a run, Syrian. Yeah, that was that was super easy. Now we just gotta get everything remade. So Randy could hit again immediately. Well, almost immediately. Uh, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turrets got emptied there. Uh, all right, so now we want to hold this door open and shut these two. Stare it. Go ahead and do that. Are you starving to death? You probably are, yeah. All right, you can go eat. Okay. Here goes the cats. Yeah. <laughs> Back to chaos. Uh, the way are you from being the colony? Um, I don't see you in the next 10. So.
Still in the queue? If you entered, then yeah, you're still in. I haven't removed anyone unless they've gotten into the game. Um. All right, we need to at least sell our drugs while they're here and grab their components, their medicine. Um, let's just go ahead and sell some of it really quick before they leave. And then I'll double check after, see what else they had. Time with how many people are in the queue before you? Yeah, I wish Twitch would make a way so that people that are not mods can see, but at the moment, Twitch only allows for the streamer and mods to see the queue. Don't know why. Underground misogynists, uh, no health issues, plants with their undergrounder. Not gonna, not gonna mess with that. Beautiful, nope. Cable of violence. Super immune, slow learner, beautiful, nope. Nope. Okay. We'll just go ahead and buy that recon helmet. That way we uh, don't have to worry about making another one. All right. Dark Souls, how many minutes before you get triggered? Uh, I'm going to give you... Uh, I'm going to give you 21 minutes, Ted. 21 minutes. Final answer. Gotta get all those reloaded. Gonna take some time. Lucas is wondering sadly. Whatever, Lucas. Sell your art. They don't have enough money. <laughs> we don't want anything else from them. But don't worry, we'll sell some more art. <laughs> oh no, all the cats died. Why, God, why? Come on, Rain, put that out. Or Sim, whatever. Sim, you might as well just do this while you're down here. I know it's raining, but transport pod crash. They're from an ally, so they probably won't join, which is good, but we can save them for some rep. Their name is Dennis. Have any other doors restricted? Now we're good. Some of them got barbecued. Yeah, absolutely. Did delay the mechs, spread them out a little bit. So they did their job. Muzz manhandling those gravis. Rip those mechs apart. Judgment cats. Uh, are we starting to get marble back again? Yeah, slowly but surely. Oh my god, we're gonna have so much corn. Hopefully, we get a bolt goods vendor soon. Um, social fight. Where do you get? What's going on, guys? Oops. Silver Lion loudly insulted services hardiness. 
driving them into a rage. I saw, can you clean up this mess? Spot crash, you were like, nope, too far. Guess you're dead. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that's pretty common. Sometimes I just can't be bothered to save people's lives, you know? You know how it is. Uh, you know what? Let's have some of the animals that can haul help with this, even though I don't want them over there for good. We'll still try and throw them in unrestricted for a little bit. Need more. Slow it as hardiness, yeah. Uh, Yanni? Oh, right, you have an EMP. You botched the construction? What the crap? How much plastic we got? We have 1,200 plasteel. I'm gonna switch one of those to uranium. Oh, we're gonna have so much corn. So much corn. Manhunter pack. Uh, close this door. I think Randy woke up. Where are they? Oh my lord. Uh... Please don't break through that wall. Did you shut the door? Okay. Okay, so no one go through that door, this door, this door. That door is already set. Don't go through here. Okay. Uh, going through there. Going through there. How many manhunters was that? I didn't have time to really check. Spire taming. It's only 45. Now I can tame one. <laughs> I know, yeah, they are bonding with a lot of animals. I didn't mean for that to happen, but... Yeah. It's actually not that many. We could probably just kill them all. Cat dog has the plague. Who's cat dog again? I don't know. Good thing it can't spread. <laughs> Obviously, the charity bit, they weren't allowed to ignore anyone in need. Every transfer pod crashed, they had to rescue no matter what. Ah, 
How's it going, Tax? It's quite the cuddle puddle. <laughs> That it is. That it is. It's quality content when you're zoomed in. <laughs> Splash one was dancing. It's a Christmas day of reindeer. It's Christmas time in the city. I'm basically living in the city. The caribou have come to wish you a happy Chris Mahana Kwanzaa. That's right. Do we get a lot of drugs that just came in? Yeah, we got we got drugs. People are cooking drugs. Can you replace anything to help cook or make drugs faster? Um. Yeah, I guess we, uh, like, arms would, right? Because it would increase manipulation. So, we'll probably do that at some point. I've already started giving some people field hands so that we harvest and plant faster on a few people. At the moment, though, we're trying to get everyone uh, bionic legs and eyes. Yeah, we can replace arms eventually, yeah. How's it going, brains? Welcome back. Thank you for coming back in. Did someone go through a door? Why are they, why are they moving? That's weird. But yeah, anything that uh, increases manipulation speed should help. <laughs> They're probing for weaknesses. <laughs> Yeah, it's very weird they all went up here. I, I thought someone went through a door, but I mean, I think we have everyone set to within the walls, so shouldn't be happening. Let me double check to make sure there's no um, actual part of the wall itself. Nah, we're good. We're good. Everything repaired, we'll just let them do the thing for now. Eventually the caribou will uh fall asleep, leave the map, start leaving the map. There's a lot of meat, but we don't need it. And most of it would rot anyway. Hey, bolt goods. Most of it would insta rot from the Scaria stuff. You fail a rank? Hmm. I wonder who's number twenty one. Let them rebuild traps too. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Um, I probably will after we get all the cannons and stuff rearmed too. Uh, so all that rice, buy all your components. All of your advanced components. Sell you all of our tea. Buy all your steel. Buy all your plasteel. Uh, sell you our, our clothing that we'll never use. And the stuff that's almost tattered. <laughs> Grab some smoke pops, I guess. Might as well. And we can sell the art. Okay. Is this a royalty DLC or mod? Um, which part? But yeah, we are playing with royalty on, but the only mods that we're using are quality of life mods. You can do exclamation mods if you want to see. Yeah, no rhinos. Uh, Vince, if you have any questions, let me know. But yeah, execution mods will show you what mods we're currently using. Just quality of life stuff. But yeah, we are also using royalty. Yeah, I 
I think we need even more people planting. I mean, I don't really need any of this plant anymore, I suppose. No items in the collection, what? Uh, that's weird because people have been clicking it and using it for like weeks. Is it working for everyone else? The mod list? I asked you permission to permaban him until you get your spot back. What if I just make him a mod instead? You don't have to do it. <laughs> no, but you guys have always been yeah really close in points or uh, in hours. I'm just kidding, of course, but. Yeah, it's a weird gamer, right? Uh, is the mod list working for everyone else? Oh, it's working for you now. I just had it for refresh. Okay. That is weird. Almost for you guys. Okay. Just Steam being weird. Also always being weird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what was going on yesterday. I wasn't able to stream because I couldn't get uh, anything to open. So. Mr. Grumpy Monkey, say we're the host. How's it going, Grumpy Monkey? Welcome in. Welcome in. Got all the Hydra bins, I know. Yeah. We need to... Uh, you need to get them all planted again. The, the thing is, we're swapping this out over here, so it's taking a long time. How many bins do we have made right now? We have 76. So we almost have enough to support the entire colony. We need that one room up there filled. Uh, I've started to replace all the corn over here with drugs now that we're getting all the hydro bins set up. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I get this finished too. So what are people working on right now? What's Superglue doing? Why isn't he reloading these? I think that's considered a hauling job. That might be why. Yep. That is why. So Sam's like the only one working on it. All right, Sam, eat your meal, rearm that. Um, so much food, yeah. Yeah, we had a crap load of corn come in. Uh, in fact, is Bolt Goods still here? probably even sell more than that and be fine but all right i was like who the crap's dennis oh no dennis he's actually a member of a faction too dennis man you don't want to do this drug lord turned corn farmer how's it going rubber monkey what are you up to tonight are you up to the same thing you have been playing uh where's this here Hollow Nighting still. Supreme Fastener or Pyro? Um, kind of old too. Plants and cooking were both good on them though. Gourmand? No. Too deep again? Where? Right there, okay. going after those turrets instead. Oh, 
I'm just trying to take out two turrets. Oh, and they're going after that one too? Oh my lord. Are they just gonna keep aggroing down through here? All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. Man, that's like friendly fires waiting. Waiting to happen. That really sucks. We gotta get those back up or else uh, we're gonna get sappers. That one. Uh, someone else is already working on that one. Okay. <clears throat> Turn over New Leaf. Too deep. Yeah, it must have been almost 20 days since the last one. Yeah, they destroyed a bunch of resources. Problem thing would lurk. Stupid bugs. We still got this going on over here. Bugs are so stupid, they're smart. That's right. Uh, so where's Sam? Everyone looks the same. Uh, Gdrell. I don't know if I'm getting your name right. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Uh, Sam. There you are. Oh, God, Sam. I didn't select you. I'm mad. Okay, nice job with the turrets. Deer still hanging out. I mean, that's kind of a good thing maybe that we got dug too deep as our uh, major event. It's the first time we've had two events in a single day in a long time, so maybe Randy is waking up tonight. We've had a raid, we've had a mech raid with centipedes. Got an animal attack. All right, get those turrets up. Got at least a half day to get those back up. We're doing Yanni. Resting. Can I have a second calling you? I don't know. Like literally another map on this play file? It wouldn't do us any harm unless they died, I guess. Deer, caribou, please. Reindeer, caribou, it's all the same. All the same. Let me make sure I undrafted everyone. So apparently I hadn't to Hytella. There we go. So as soon as Sam is up, he should be eating and then rearming the turrets. Let's let's make sure he's doing that. Wake up, Sam. The colony needs you. Power to win in solar. Yeah, if we need to. Yeah. I wish we had a river on this map. Sonic goods. Alright, hold that thought. 
all kinds of events happening today. If you're not selling any exotic rhinos, uh, buy all your components, all your advanced components, sell you all my drugs. Uh, buy more plasteel. Why not? Psychic Sooth Pulsar, we'll take that. Um, let's go ahead and take flesh shaping. Oh, we just spent a bunch of money. So in traffic, we'll go back. Dennis, I told you this would happen. I told you, Dennis. Oh, they're starting to fall asleep, so. Friggin' Dennis. For God's sake. I've been I've used Word of Love on multiple people. It's not worked. I used it on you and Rakes actually a couple times, and you guys just won't hook up. But I guess I'll try it again. <laughs> uh, I didn't do it because it's you and Rakes. I did it because your characters were hitting on each other. I know what you might think. It's all all plants. Here we go. Get you hooked up with Rakes. There you go. Now you guys, you guys just love each other. Now you can go off and bond over the tree. You'll find me. <laughs> Star Steven, that's all it took. Screw Dark Souls. Sorry, Ted. What kind of build are you doing? I mean, Tar Steven's relatively early, so I don't know if you can have a build per se up yet, but <laughs> sub love. <laughs> all right, Sam, are you reloading? You're visiting a grave? Oh, right, of the colonists that we didn't want. Mad Alpaca. All right, little buddy, good luck. Good luck. Go rescue this idiot. It's level eight. So starting gear, essentially. Gotcha. Tar Steven is pretty early on. Oh no, one of the rhinos died of the plague. I should have let them have medicine, but I didn't. Why are you saying so mean? Hey man, you're the one that brought it up. Why aren't you using that word of love? All right, I'll use it. <laughs> Psychic love for R squared for eight days. Maybe you guys will hook up. Uh, the animal emergency thing, I believe, is just baseline. At least I don't know that I have something that's adding to that. Uh, this, so this is um, a new one I just added because our portraits were so small. It's custom portraits. Custom portraits. I just added it so that we can make the icons bigger because with nearly 50 pawns, they were getting so tiny. Custom portraits. Let's see how it is. How's it going, Bright Star? Welcome back. God of boy. Yeah, God, God of God of War was really, really good. Really good. One of my favorite games of the last ever. Alright, they're starting to wake up and leave the map. There's still manhunters though, so we gotta be a little cautious. I'll at least open this door now so that um we have a normal raid. We have an entrance open. And if any of these come in at this point or that alpaca, you know, we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. Let's see how it is. I mean, I used it on you guys last time I played too. You didn't you didn't even know. Didn't even know. Come back and you're married to Rakes. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unrestrict these even though people can't go out of them yet because of their zone restrictions 
just so I don't forget after all this is over. I can't be trusted. <laughs> just doing what you told me. Although, like I said, I did I did do it on Tuesday night also. Sam, you're eating. Maybe I should have a table down here. Rearm these turrets, Sam. Are you unhappy? No, you're happy enough to do this. Get it done. But yeah, I, th I thought the pet thing was a, um, wasn't a mod. I think it's when pets have a, um, just like when colonists have a disease that gets into the 90% range or whatever it is, whatever the threshold is. Can't remember. Is a double row of portraits also from it? Uh, no, apparently it goes into a second row automatically. I mean, there was less on the second row before I uh, made it larger with that custom portraits mod, but we had made a second row just in the base game, but it didn't happen until we were at like 40 pawns. And it was just putting one at a time down. About to die? Yeah, I don't know what it's from then. Unless it's Animal Tab. It's the only Animal mod I have. So maybe Animal Tab adds that to it. Or maybe it's Medical Tab. I would I would check one of those two, Traff. Animal Tab or uh, Medical Tab. But yeah, with this, uh, with this portrait mod, you can choose what... Uh, the size of the portraits, how many rows you have, and... Uh, I'm also using colored mood bars still. So the custom portrait thing does not have a mood bar included in it, but it is compatible with the normal custom mood bar color thing. So if you're already using that one, this uh, this does work with it without any problems. Mod, we're all the citizens of robots. No, I'm not using any kind of overhaul mod. That they're just wearing marine helmets. That's all that is. Only using quality of life stuff. How's it going, Zay? Welcome in. Woozy, they were hanging out. Have a good shift. Yeah, uh, exclamation mods will show you what all mods we're using, Zay, but this is just, this just makes the portraits larger, and it's zoomed in on their heads. And those are just marine helmets, which is standard in-game or late-game uh, defensive helmets, so. Alright, finally got those rearmed. Uh, do we get these turrets back up? Yeah, we're good. Food binge on Sam, that's fine. Okay, how are we doing on steel? We're actually good, so we can start finishing this. Actually, you know what? Uh, let's reinstall that on this side. Level overlay, like it shows, fertility and terrain. Been searching for one, but all you see are wall light mods. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I've never thought about looking that up. Um, have you tried looking up just the word overlay? That way you're not getting any other kind of keyword and maybe searching through just overlay. That would be pretty helpful, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't mind that one either. Just reading on an insulting spree. Man, I really don't want him to cause a bunch of problems. So, JPD, welcome back. Yeah, a light overlay would be helpful for sure.
I'm starting to get marble back, so that's good. Actually, you know what? I'm okay with it being up there. It's gonna cause a little bit of uh, ugliness as they're walking through, but it's not that big of a deal. SYR light radius as an overlay for light. Thank you, Fuego. Might have tried that out too. Major break on Finn. Uh, Finn, let's use a word of joy on yourself. Okay. You know what? We haven't had uh, 20 grass. Wait, we're at 29 grass? What? Did I miss the alert tonight? Uh... The alert must happen a long time ago. So we'll get uh, Rakes' tier 5. Let's see what we get. God, he's so slow. Might should put it on someone else. Oh, well. It's fine. Flesh shaping. How many game in game years? We're on day 356 of 1200. 356 to 1200. All right, we're gonna let that door uh, be left open. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these up here, but I'm not maybe gonna let them do all of them right away. Yeah, we still have a lot of time, yeah. So we're about, yeah, almost six years in out of 20. Really crazy. Cat has given birth. Wow, hooray. Jane has given birth? Who's Jane? Jane's a horse. Jane's a horse, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, the new baby horse just hit a trap and died. That'll teach you. Now you've become food. You'll be a fine meal, at least. Alright, uh, let's see what Rick's got for their tier 5. Psylink. They got Berserk. It's good. Berserk is good. You can Berserk an enemy. It's a good one. It's good to know that the tree can uh, go over 20 without you having to worry about it. Uh, we also don't really need this here anymore. Should at least remove the roof there. So if they are going through, they're not getting a, a debuff for me in the dark or a speed debuff or anything like that. Come on. Well, the new husky puppies just hit a trap and died. Dogs wandering around, or whatever. Okay, so uh, I think we're actually good to go ahead and make those up there. How are you on components? 57, yeah, we're good. We're good. So I'm going to make them all. 
And we'll go ahead and put the marble tile down here too. Or up here, I should say. All right. So we're almost done with our hydroponic setup. Um, do I want to try to make 50 bedrooms? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't even know where we'd fit 50 bedrooms. So let's take a look. Fit one here. Or floor in the greenhouses, yeah. I would never do that in normal wealth mode. So, one here. Two. Three, four, five. Maybe six. We can cut this down. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Uh, we get rid of this trap tunnel and put some there. Although that's our last fallback. Yeah, man, I don't know. Save yourself a headache? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Every time I think about giving 50 people bedrooms, I... I just am like, I don't want to do it. Using drugs for mood lit and fighting. Hard drugs, not joints and tea. No, I'm not. Just tea. Just tea. Uh, the only way to be in the mountain? Well, not necessarily. I mean, we have those two side areas, but... That side range production? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, hey, look. Kind transhumanist. Staggeringly ugly. Staggeringly ugly can cause social issues, but we do have flesh shaping. Uh, they're 27, and they can get leveled up in plants and crafting very quickly. So that might be someone we take. Pyromaniac and ugly. Gourmand and beautiful. Holy crap. No, absolutely not. Take your components. Sell you some tea. All right, new person. Let's see who's next in the queue. Next in the naming queue is Lucario. All right, Lucario. Welcome to the colony. We're gonna be working on plants. Plants and crafting. That's it. That's your life. Uh, let's put everyone back to no meds. Okay. Fight back for your attacks. Uh, wear ranged gear, eat fine meals, and take your panoxicillin. All right, Lucario. Here is a chain shotgun. Good luck. Let's drop to trader ship. 100,000. Crash landed a trader ship? That's crazy. More planning. Yeah, I've used the more planning one before. Was the south? They're really cheap. Uh, where'd I put them? No, they don't have any health issues. They were cheap because of staggeringly ugly, I think. Uh, we're not done with the new bionic legs yet. All right, we'll go ahead and give you an eye so you'll be happy. Glad to be in the colony, Lucario. Been in the queue for a long time. 
says you bought that name two months ago. It's crazy. It's crazy. We're at 47. My animals drop 50 or so guns on a naked solo guy. <laughs> I had something similar happen. Um, so we had a mountain base and there was a, uh, we were using more traders, which was, it adds different kinds of traders. There was a textile trader that was walking through our kill tunnel and we had a mech drop on top of them and killed them. And uh, uh, they killed all the muffalos and they dropped everything. And it was so much that it overflowed through the walls. So our entire kill tunnel was full of like sin thread and all this stuff. And uh, we jumped 80 something thousand in wealth. We had like 1200 sin thread and just so much leather and cloth. We were not prepared for that wealth jump either. Clip somewhere. Yeah, it was just overflowing in the kill tunnel. All right. Transhumanist pleased. It's almost done. You now either spamming walls and turrets. Is there anyone you can give it to? Like give a lot of it to? What kind of items did, did it drop? Sorceress has given birth. Some of the attachment warnings and mods. That's true. Sound good or some definite unintended consequences. Hands mm. mine, you are slow at this. Holy crap. Forty seven people. We have one unknown bed. another person for planting so why not <laughs> get a huge additional field set up I don't know maybe maybe I do divide the colony into three and we can have a group of people in the left field one in the right one in the middle bigger one in the middle That would allow for individual rooms for sure. It's either that or mountain if we want individual rooms. I mean, we don't need individual rooms, but it would help with mood at this stage where we have sky high expectations. I wonder what our wealth is. It's gotta be kind of crazy at this stage. Let's check out our wealth. 638,000 wealth. Not as high as I thought, actually. See, for little game, is it for everyone? It's mod for everything. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mod like any other AAA game. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, I definitely don't mind. It's whatever people want to play, you know? Ooh, we're actually hitting our 
limit on power now, even without the sun lamps. Yeah, I know, we can still turn other things off. Uh, these are pulling a ton of power, for instance, but... Crematorium 2, yeah. 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 Crematorium's only 250, but these are, are what's really pulling lots of power that we don't always need. That right there is 1,400 watts, which is kind of silly, but... Uh, I dropped 38,000 in silver, a bunch of body materials, statues, a whole bunch of weapons, plasteel components, titanium... Super in-game material from the Glitter Tech mod. Check them on. Uh, wow. Actual group of people. Weapon vendors instead of a ship. We could just a uh, chem fuel generator too. So we have so chem fuel generators are very efficient. Might do that at some point. We don't really need to, but to use the single conduit thing as a challenge. Single conduit thing. What are you talking about, John? An Aurora. You mean putting more batteries, or, or you mean um, putting the single conduit and doing the? Uh, I'm guessing you're talking about the reconnect thing. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's, I mean, I don't know. It's just personal preference not to do it. It's kind of cheesy having it be where you can turn off anything you want without a pawn having to uh, having to actually do it. I mean, I don't mind if people use it, but um, yeah. I'm not going to use it this run. It's a challenge. Yeah. I guess so. I just never do it. Try not to do anything too super cheesy, but... Oh my god, where are you guys going to trade with us at? Like I said, not that I mind people doing it. I know a lot of people do it. Are you guys really gonna be down here? Or are you going up to this area? legs aren't done yet. Make it a recon armor for Lucario, it looks like. Aurora is ending. Where are these guys going? Are you coming up here? Ugh. Alright. Let's make a tunnel entrance up here, I guess. For situations like this. A hair self tames. Okay, that hair is now food. Uh, what do you guys got? You have a good marine helm and a normal helm. You might take those.
never cleared all this work area. I just remembered. Pita. That's why I always do this trading stop spot mod. Yeah. You can. You can use that as part traders in the middle of uh, like mech clusters and stuff too. I mean, it's just up to you if you want to do stuff like that. But I thought about using it this run, but. And then just not do things where you park them at, in the middle of mech clusters. But. You guys with all the trade goods, could you go stand in the middle of the mech cluster for me? Trust me. It's where we do all of our trading. Super safe. I gotta remember to remove that afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to put them like right here. Got any new legs done? Not quite. We're still working on that recon. Who, uh, next person that works on it might do an inspiration. Have a dev designated sapper wall. We think we broke sappers. We haven't had sappers since early game, and we think it's because of all the turrets, because of how the sapper AI works. Um, our entire base is surrounded in a ring of turrets that we have 87 turrets surrounding our base. And because sapper AI uh, puts so much value on turret line of sight, we're thinking that's why we're not really getting sappers anymore. So, no dedicated place for Sapper. We have fallbacks on each side of the base in case Sappers come, but I think we're fine. <clears throat> like, if Sappers come through this way, we have these uh, bunkers set up. With all the doors and all this stuff. Uh, if they come out through this way, we just have the kill tunnels. If they come through this way, we have a kill tunnel there for them. <clears throat> if you just completely... Destroy a separator too. It seems stop bothering with them. Yeah. I think that's maybe what we had is like two early game. Yeah, something like that. Uh, can you guys go get these? No. It's because you can't haul. I'm guessing. All right. Um, God. Where's Sam? I know Sam is set to haul. Sam. Oh, they're still setting the walls. That's what's going on. My bad. Forgot to change them to work zone after the attack. My bad. I forgot to put our hauling animals as unrestricted, too. I think I'm going to sell those other husky puppies. All right, there we go. That'll fix that problem. But yeah, ever, ever since we got our uh, ring of turrets, we haven't had any sappers. There we go, look at that. They're actually doing things. What do you know? Cario, you're gonna get a marine helmet. It's your lucky day. Um, did we get all the steel from that? We did. Okay. Kind of don't want infestation to happen down there. It'd be really annoying. But, you know what? Let's just install it here. How's our power grid now? Now we're good. Probably forget about it though. I think I am gonna throw in a chem fuel generator.
Uh, let's do some stockpile zones here. Clear everything, um, and we'll go with Kim Fuel Importance. And we'll copy that over this one. That'll be fine. So what's our next goal now? I, I really don't know. Like, just more defense? Like, we could do another kill area here, honestly. But, uh, don't really need to. Work on traps again. Um... So I'm not sure I'm gonna put people's bedrooms out here. Like we put bedrooms out here, unless we also just had the people live out there. Um, might do that wall actually. Unless we're gonna have people live out there entirely and segment the map into three places, because them running over here to do work and stuff would be bad. Uh, Wabri, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. I could go ahead and claim that. What I mean, not much reason to. Um, one thing that we could do is we could have another kill area that is closed to start with, but. If this one gets destroyed, we can open it up while this one gets repaired. It's kind of crazy, but I mean, ducks join. Well, I don't want to take care of you, but if you guys want to live and breed where the cats used to be, that's fine. Last time this happened though, mechs immediately came in and killed them. So just letting you know. There you go, ducks. Do not care for the ducks at all. Gins, unlimited power. We're actually already, we've used all of the geothermals and we're already hitting that power amount. And that's without sun lamps. So we need more power than that. Need more power. Major break risk. Maybe it's time to start putting gold down. Also, I never got that trade room done that I was going to do. Mm. How much more of this is not overhead mountain? Ugh. Maybe up here. Let's see how much of this we can mine out before we hit overhead mountain. Some weird flooring there. completely join this map no we still haven't found the ancient danger i'm thinking it's in the mountains somewhere ever played dwarf fortress i have not i've read about it i'm looking forward to the steam version of it when it's out eventually but no, i've never played it the original no i haven't hit an ancient danger We're, like i said i think it's in the mountains somewhere it's gotta be seems like too big of a map to spawn without ancient danger start putting auto doors down here too positive uranium found nice let's see how close that is um hostile activity at the uranium and we got plasteel there too 
How far away is that plasteel? Uh, two point four six days. All right. All right. Um, yeah, let's set up the uranium first. One point seven eight days. All right, Scorpio. There's danger there, so good luck. Pond scum. Good luck. Take all the hauling animals with you guys. Or, I mean, pack animals. Use them at meat, as meat shields if you need to. Okay. Uh, travel supplies. Oh, we're like low on packaged survival meals. I don't think we've had meat in a while. So, let's take all 12 of them, I guess. Hmm. That's not good. I need to go check that. What's going on there? Packing survival meals. Wait. There's 20 right there, but... Packing survival meals are at the top. Alright. I must have been hauling some over there at the time. Duck meat. <laughs> Whispering duck meat. Sandstone meteorite. Okay. Interesting. Whatever. Duck meat. <laughs> oh, that's a really old one, yeah. One of the ones we chose not to go to. Already hitting a red mountain there. Already. First unit right, at least didn't hit anything. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, they're on their way. Do like a surplus room back here. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. To hold on to until we actually have traders coming in. Dock or hen for eggs since in description it says it lays eggs really fast. I don't know. I've never really compared the two of them. Was well, things that ducks are better overall? Yeah. I've never really kept them for eggs. I usually, um, eggs are just kind of a nice byproduct. I usually just, uh, use them as meat shields and eat them when they die. See you. Okay. All right. I already drew it out. Uh, yeah, we'll use marble. All right. Tree blocking us must be. Must 
Let's be blocking a little bit. Uh, animal linking again. Um, should we just get races tier six? And we have two level six casters. Yeah, he's happy enough to do it too. Go ahead. Meditation tree is advanced. What do you mean? Advanced. Um, we have quite a few people with uh, side casting. I think we have like six or seven people with side cast, maybe six. One of which is tier six. We have a couple tier fours. The scene one with the fuzzies and the grass. Got you. Yeah, you have to have someone uh, or multiple people with um, meditation type natural meditate at the anima tree for it to grow grass. And then every time it gets to 20 grass, you can consume it to level up uh, side casting. All right. That means we don't really need that there anymore. Let me get some of this crap out of here. I actually extend the barracks out of that. It's like casting OP is just what the game needed. I like, I mean, I like it. They're very strong. Yeah, really, really, really strong. Uh, there's, there's some that are very strong for combat and some that are very strong just for colony management and growth. In fact, uh, stack casting is one of the ways that we got so many people because uh, we got word of trust pretty early on and word of trust reduces uh, the resistance of a prisoner by uh, 20. And so you can fly through the resistance and recruit people really quickly. And I thought those were closer to done than they were. Oh well. Can you read the names now? Yeah, I grabbed a mod to make the portraits bigger. How's it going, Bert? Because they were getting really tiny. Yeah, side casting is really, really good. It's very strong. Um, but I, I like it. I like that as a game. Is my monitor 4K? No, I have a 2K monitor. 2K. Do we have any hentai historians in the channel? <laughs> That's right. 2K monitor, don't have a 4K. Just streaming in 1080. All right, so Rake's got to his tier six. What do you get? Skip shield, generate a spherical skip gate that sends all incoming and outgoing ground level projectiles to some distant place. People and items are not affected. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, that wall light screwed up. I don't know which one it is, so... Don't know. Don't know which one that is. Let's fix this too, because if we have one of those events, uh, we do have a battery. We don't want it to happen in there. We'll destroy that afterwards. Um, Ferris, Ferris, thank you for the follow. Hopefully I'm getting your name right. Welcome in. Yeah, at, once we started getting over 40 pawns, um, the icons were tiny. From using clip, it's so old now. It's rockets, but skate right on top enemy. Have them waste the rockets. We don't have that many more tech prints to grab. We should just try and get them all. Just 
to have him. Stockpile. Uh, no food in there. No food in there. How big is our barracks now? Uh, we're still over 350, so it's fine. Here's a social fight. R squared and Lucas. Come on, R squared. What was this about? R squared compared Lucas to a pheasant. Oh, you're on an insulting spree. No wonder you got attacked. Compared Lucas to a pheasant? Lucas's nephew's way of walking? Orcs' uncle's recreational preferences? Orcs' brain power? Casabelle's courageousness? Let's go and Zed. Fighting at the mines. Projectiles have a rocket shot back. Yeah, that would be crazy. That'd be crazy. Uh, all right, so that'll do. what happens you play with your emotions you know it's got time for you to use word of love again are you still in love with rakes you're not you're not i can fix that <laughs> let's get catharsis from insult x3 yeah yeah wait he must have been done with it he must have been done and then they started the fight what you don't want to be in a relationship with rakes huh? I'm shocked. Uh, so apparently I should have left that one. We're just a couple of tiles off. Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. It was because it was connected to that. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Sorry, I'm telling everybody about their uncle's recreational preferences. So. Pigs haul? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're actually pretty good at hauling, too. They only have a, like 0.9 or maybe a 1 in filth, so they're not... Uh, pigs are not very filthy, and they're, they're fine at hauling. Man, maybe we should make more chem fuel. I don't know. Not sure about that. Hmm. Hmm. What can I put down here? I'm trying to start spreading things out to the edge. Hmm. Hmm. Move these down there. We'll compare filthy people to pigs, That's right? A cowboy hat looked like he was wearing it. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> the pig wearing the cowboy hat. In the game, they're a massive asset, especially when starting with solo. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, having the having enough hauling animals means that no one ha else has to haul. You can get it to where like just don't need people hauling because the animals are hauling almost everything. Um, and they're really good for defense, block and choke points and stuff. Randy Random, we are yet. Yeah. Yeah. Exclamation uh, challenge, I think, will tell you everything that got turned on, Plague. But uh, welcome in. Let me know if you have any other questions or anything. If only the pigs could clean or animals, yeah. <laughs> Plague Juice, thank you for the follow, Plague. Appreciate it. Glad you found the stream. Uh, How are we doing on marble? Yeah, might as well put it in there. Might as well. Mm -hmm. 
It wasn't a red mountain, was it? No, okay. That will do. Good enough. Run out of a thousand corn per day because can't stop saving every type of animal. Uh, right. There's enemies here. Monkeys. Okay. Look, look at this Scorpio. He's delicious. Go after him. Definitely not the guy with the assault rifle. Pawn Scott, you need to start hitting these shots, man. Okay, one down. Spread out a little bit. There we go. No problem. All right, where's this uranium? You guys fine enough to just mine this now? Yeah, you are. Go and just mine all that. Uh, Scorpio. What is this made out of? Granite, marble. Uh, I mean, you might as well. Florence, the hooding tile. Um, it, no, it's okay. I want. It's fine. I mean, I normally wouldn't do this if it was um, wealth mode, but you know, then we, some of it's dirt, so we wouldn't have it all matching. And also we can always rip up marble tile. You can't rip up uh, smooth stone floor, you know. Good APM, lots of no pause practice. It's all that competitive Starcraft from back in the day. <laughs> So it's training for that. Yeah, that's true. That is the truth. Come on, pond scum. Horses are mating. Right, good enough. Uh, is there any enemies at the blast deal? I don't care, we're going either way. Okay, bring all the uranium with us. Might as well bring those marble blocks. Get on it. It's all the hentai. I'll have you know that my hands are not on the mouse and keep, no, never mind. <laughs> Crest by a noodle. Menu or the thing I just like just like menu orders like deconstruct, cancel, forbid from mouse button four or five. Yeah, that'd be kind of interesting actually. I've not used that one before. I have to look at it. Uh, if you don't whisper me it or drive it to Discord, I'll try it out probably after this uh, this playthrough. That's right. Not on the mouse keyboard during those games. I've still not played any of them. I don't plan to. I'd rather go back and play Dream Daddy, you know? You guys working on those yet? Uh, no, because we've been getting component stuff back up. Terrible. Terrible quote. Wait, what size is this? Uh, it's 15. It's 15. I'm going to have to uh, the roof tile in there. That will allow us to fix the lighting, so it's not too bad. Dream Daddy. 
Dream Daddy. Dream Daddy is going to be the first VOD I upload to the archive channel. So uh, I think I made a command for it. Exclamation new chan or something like that. Any W C H A N. But uh, I made an archive channel that I'm going to put my full streams on instead of edited content and do edited content on the main channel. I think it's that. It's, I did make a command that links to it. Anyway, you can also just look up Adam versus Archive on YouTube if you want. Crazy. Why, Reezy? Because you're soaking wet. What? Or do you have. You're too smart. That's what it is. Now you're insulting R squared? Scanned underground plasteel. Where? Darkest D. Yeah, I meant to make a command. I could have swore I did, but maybe I didn't activate it. So I need to make it. But yeah, it's just, yeah, exactly. Adam versus Archive. Kid to segue to the public space. That's right. Reezy, who are you insulting? You're insulting R squared. Oh, my alerts just uh, they reload. My alerts just crashed. There we go. Um, where's Finn actually? Finn, can you use a word of joy on R squared since you just got insulted so much? Thank you. Actually, don't need that down here anymore, but oh well. Oh well. How's the steel going? Bobby, well, you're gonna get something caught in somewhere out here in the nude operating heavy machinery. Maybe he's safer, you know? He doesn't have to worry about like a tie or like baggy sleeves getting caught in anything. 57 year old man out here in the nude mining away. He has plenty of spare stuff. So. Now upload some content, streamer, on subject unfollowed. Thank you, yeah. So I'm gonna put those up there. But yeah, seriously, check that game out I was telling you about. Um. It might be the best StarCraft 2 match I've ever seen. It's really crazy. Bjorn versus Serral, game five. I'll probably find it if you just do Bjorn versus Serral, game five. Or watch the whole season or series. I won't tell you who wins each or anything. Or who wins it all. Operating a drill, jiggly bits, helicoptering. That's right. Well, I mean, uh, fifth lobby has a few extra pounds too. So all that like vibrating from the drill might have one of those like uh chunk situations going on i don't know i think he likes the vibration maybe that's why he's always out there <laughs> so i was like wow you must really like mining fifth lobby he does A shake weight he'll shed itches, inches in minute uh, I don't think he's shedding any inches. He might be growing some inches during. Uh, let's do some more of these auto doors in the, uh, the highly traveled areas. Yeah, one of the wild rats made it in. I need to kill it. I'm, I noticed that just a second ago, too. go i saw it here and then i saw it somewhere else and then i forgot to uh to exterminate it so randy hit us like two or three times in a row oh it was there the whole time hit us like two or three times in a row and then hasn't done anything for a little while nice snobs or money do you hear some someone growing inches? 
What position do you play, Trevor? Did I ever ask you that? I know we talked about TFT, but I don't know that I ever actually talked to you about League. Maybe we should go get this meat. Jungle. Oh yeah, I did ask you for him. Muscle parasites is 510? I believe so. Yeah, that's what someone told me. So, if they were correct, then yes. Uh, gut worms 300, muscle parasites 500, from what I understand. Support me. Reezy is still insulting people. Holy crap. I swear that's one of the worst ones. I tend to just start. What's going on over here? Start arresting him. Goncoro insulted Lucario's eating habits, driving him into a rage. You guys. I might have to get some happiness potatoes, you know? So, for anyone that doesn't know, arrest him. I might. I might. For anyone that doesn't know, um, there is an item in the game that once you put it into someone's brain, they basically broadcast their mood in, a, in an area. And so, what you can do is you can find someone that's um, predisposed to being pretty happy, then give them um, a joy wire as well, and then cut off their legs and put them in like a two by one room wherever you need a mood boost AoE area. And so, you can have that like in your barracks, in your work area, in your kill tunnel, and it's just broadcasting like a plus 60 mood all the time. It's great. <laughs> Works so well. Get one of those harmonizers. Suru, is that all that you had to do over here? I don't like that. That's sociopathic. That's Rimworld, baby carrot. Efficient. Uh, let's go on, General Coco. Welcome in. Carrot, welcome back. Welcome back. So we're finally getting auto doors in. Um, maybe I'll finally extend this as well. Caravan arrives, okay. There's the plasteel. Are you guys hungry or anything? No, you're good to go, let's go. Get it. Uh, there's some marble, there's some silver, or steel rather. Uranium chunk somewhere too. It's like nearby. Ah, uh, it's over there. So we won't be able to get that on the way. Usually are generated. Raiders never have living android people jammed. That's you buy one, that's true. You can be as barbaric and evil as you choose to be. Earth children, aliens carted around. Torchwood. No, it's not really plus 60. You can get their mood to that high, but they're not really broadcasting plus 60. Psychic Emanator is not a mod. Yeah, it's not a mod. We haven't seen one, but I need to keep an eye on it. Um, it seems like they're more from Quest now, the Psychic Emanators, than they are from uh, uh, Traders. Too deep. Okay. Where? Which drill? That one? Okay. But not Hytella. Not Hytella. Just a little overkill. Man, we keep getting dug too deep. It's because we have so many drills going. 
It's actually part of the reason why we're not getting other big events. Oh, no, 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 no. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Thank you. How many shots last to take? I don't know. We missed a lot of shots on it, though. And then pegs, train medical. Yeah, that's right. It's a nasty firing squad. It really is. Every rage for last year's stream is over, Kelly. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. It, uh, real infestation. Come up here. Fast, fast, fast. Who can grab this? Equip that. Get in here. How close is it? Well, it's way up there. Okay. Did you shut that one? Oh my god. Okay, I see you need to get out of there. No, 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 don't try to rest. How many bugs is this? That seems smaller than the last one. Are we on, we're on 500%, right? Yes, yes we are. Uh, we're someone that can repair quickly if we come, if we need to. Super glue is our best, I believe. He's sleeping right now. How's his needs? He's fine. How many columns do we have? We have 47. Where's the amount of wood? No, it's probably overkill, but we're bad just to head feet. 70 plus years old in those commercials. One of the things I set on fire, just pieces of wood. So on cake, welcome in. Just pieces of wood. All right, let's go. It was dark, yeah. So what I did is I built flooring and then canceled it so that it became little stacks of three because a stack of one wood and a stack of 50 wood burns the same amount of time. Come on. God, I hope we we dug it out more since last time, so I hope I have enough wood in there. Oh, it's almost there. I don't know. We might not have enough wood, guys. We might have to actually fight this. So close to being it. There we are. There we are. Ready for two inside. It's hotter than hell at 666 plus degrees. How's it going, Matador? Road and welcoming. No, that door stayed open. Oh, uh, crap. Oh, well. Got him. They're all dead. Cool. Do we have wood to restock that afterwards? Uh, yeah. Okay. A lot of jelly. Ah, eh, jelly's gonna burn too, which is fine. We don't need it. We at one point we had over like twelve hundred jelly, but. That we sold, and that was nice, but we have so much money from drugs. Yeah, it's going to be way too hot to go in there for a little while. So, we'll just let it cool down. Jelly's going to combust. Um, I don't think we need this rice anymore either, now that we got the other grow areas up. 
So I think we're going to replant this one as drugs as well. Maybe I'll do cocoa out here somewhere. It takes a long time for cocoa to grow, right? Uh, let me look at the growing time on cocoa. <laughs> 16 days. Yeah. Might do that. Does 1,000 jelly cost us two turrets? Right. And some walls and some dogs. It's almost 1,000 degrees in there. Don't get the caravan. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I was forgetting them during that. But they finished. Uh... All those events right in a row. Uh, sure. Drop the berries. Did you already eat? No. Stop eating the berries, horses. That'd be good enough. They can eat on the world map. It's a lot of stuff we're bringing home. We might have to drop by them some food. Where'd the fine meals go? What the crap? I haven't been there that long to have gone through 10 fine meals and 20 packed survival meals. But we'll see. If we need to drop on them some food, we will. Coco, songs in your head. So on Yanni, by the way. Yeah, I don't know. The animals, they shouldn't because there's grazing on the way there, but... And I never dropped them on the ground. But it's the only thing I can think of, too. Ashen. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good night. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think they were going to be fine, though. They're only two days away. Need two meals a day. I think they said they had four packs of survival left. Um, I might go grab those deer so that we can make more pack of survival these trips because we are doing a lot of trips grabbing uranium and plasteel uh yeah we can do that power hour I guess so man I'll see something bad about to happen and I'll stop that All this stuff holds. Tet, I think we did this up to Gur King. How's it going, Gur King? Welcome in. How many months? 11 months. <laughs> Said so <sub> only. <laughs> Thank you, Tet. Much appreciated, man. Much love to that Tet guy. Thank you, Tet.
accuracy is so low right now in the wet and dark. Coming right for us. Mouse kept going over to the wrong spot there. Okay, haul that. You won't haul? Get out of here. You won't haul? Get out of here. What? Excuse me. Uh, I believe... I believe you said you wouldn't do that. Hytala still has the incendiary equipped, yeah. For a mood boost. Um, I think we replaced the other one. Yeah, we replaced it. I got Iceman his back. Alright, get all this meat in. Understect home, understect wall, understect meat shield. <laughs> That's right. I don't know what's going on. I have no clue. All right, uh, I think we're back into the work area, so. Do that. All right, how's the caravan doing? You guys all right? Ah, oh, you're fine. Don't even worry about it. Live off berries, you're good. You're good. Uh, is this cool down yet? 232 so it's still a little too hot for colonists to go in there but uh what we can do let's go ahead and have doors held open um we can clear the work zone from inside here or at least from here and i set this on haul urgently and an animal will come get it hopefully a husky because they are good in all weather no, I haven't grabbed a Phoenix armor. No. We had one offered for sale earlier, but it was really expensive. Smoke Spewer. Megan Cluster is landed not far. There's smoke Spewer, Belching Smoke, Attack and Destroy It. All right, I guess we're gonna do Operation... What, what was it last time? Our legendary solo hero. It's not far away. Are you guys going straight through that? It won't trigger, I hope. It shouldn't. I don't think so. I've never had that happen, though. It's kind of scary. The tribe, like half the people you have, um, cause, I mean, how it works on the time mode is that the other colony, if we had a second colony, would end up, um, having like very easy like single couple or like maybe a couple raiders at a time because it's based on time per colony so i don't know it's a real reason to make a second colony in this one i don't think let's keep everyone home Just put lights in there sometime i guess the time is now what was that uh Social problem. Ken loudly insulted his sewer's clothes, driving them into a rage. Smoke spewer, huh? Uh, all right. Who's our, like, one of our most expendable people? Didn't we send Sam last time? We did. We sent one arm Sam. He's still our most expendable person. And he already has the shotgun that he used to take out the other cluster. All right, Sam. Uh, I'll see if you can take another one out by yourself. Yeah, I don't think I want to take anyone else with you. Hmm. Nah, it's fine. 
switch them over to paste paste life uh set this up Sam, Sam. Don't die, Sam. You have a lot of friends. Somehow. Somehow you have a lot of friends. Nine pack survival meals. What? Nine? Nine? I guess. I guess that's alright. I guess that's alright. Take two herbal medicines. Now that you'll need them. You're fine. You're fine. Alright. Get out of here, Sam. 4.6 days of food required? What? Why? Sam, are you really slow? Are you slow, Sam? You went on one of these before. Maybe you're on drugs right now. Maybe that's what's going on. Nah, you're fine. You're fine. Here, just in case you get bogged down. Or maybe it's because, um... Where are you, Sam? Sam, Sam, why do I keep losing you? Oh, you're on the paste setup. Paste is, uh... Paste is actually everything. No corpses, please. All right. You know what? Let's also turn off uh, human meats. And insect meats, just, just in case. I don't think there will be any on the way there, but you, you never know. Boxes never saw that much defense. So how it works, Denson is... Um, enemies go through here, and this slows them down so we can have time to get to our defensive positions. And uh, oh, we need to get that out of here. What the crap are those doing there? Uh, and it also will um, uh, give us time to decide which kill tunnel we want to use. So if they're coming through here and it ends up being a mech, a uh, group of mechs with centipedes, I then open this door and this one, and I close this, which will mean that the mechs come in this way and the turrets take care of the centipedes. If they happen to get through it, they then come into our normal kill box where we have... Tons of people lined up and turrets and traps. Uh, if this one starts to fall, we have one more that we can fall back to, a smaller one, uh, after a, a trap tunnel. I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of this one uh, at some point and maybe have a second one here. Uh, but yeah, it's just layers of kill tunnels and we can close certain ones off depending on what kind of raid we have. Like if it's a humanoid raid, I don't want to waste all this... Uh, uranium on them so i'll just leave that closed and instead they come through our normal kill tunnel thank you marabou have a good night you can cheese the time mode by just moving every couple years i'm thinking yeah that's what i think i haven't tested it but it sounds like you could reset with all your weapons and stuff i think so yeah that's how it works with wealth mode if you go form a second colony and you don't take any wealth with you, it'll be super easy over there. You know, or very little wealth with you. So it's, uh, each colony also has their own statistics and, you know, graph and stuff, so. Yeah, no problem, didn't. More uranium. Uh, alright. Where is that? Okay. Awesome caravans being ambushed by 18 outlanders. Oh, they want to take our assault rifle and bedroll. Well, we can't fight them. We can't fight 18 with two. So we have to give it to them. That means we need to make another assault rifle for when they get back. Feels bad. Could have been worse, though. Could have been worse. Two caravans out right now. Um, yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. I don't mind explaining like why certain things are in certain places or anything at all. How's the steel going over there? Actually got quite a bit left. 
We're getting low up here. 2,000. Oh, did we get this done? All right, we need to put the flooring back in real quick. Last time I was a little worried that we didn't have enough, so let's just make sure. Gotta be overkill and underkill. That should be plenty. Yeah, we'll need to make another bedroll, that's true. That's true. Let's clear the work zone. I never had them finish that door either. You do that. Okay, tattered apparel. What, Wonko? Why are you wearing tattered apparel? What are you wearing that's tattered? You should be set up correctly. Uh, Wonko? No, you're set to anything? Whoops. How'd that happen? How'd that happen, Wonko? I don't know. There we go. Uh, also, Lucas, you're in the front right now? Oh, right, because I grabbed uh, grenades with you. That's fine. All right, what material do we have for bedroll? Camel, rhinoceros. Camel's fine. My call TD enhanced it pack adds a ton of quality of life features. Includes light overlay too. A ton of features. Didn't even know needed so much. Uh, I'll have to check that out too. Like I said, if you want to link me anything or throw it in the Discord, by all means, I'll check them out. Probably won't add them to this run. But might use them at some point. Sam's almost at his solo incursion. An excellent bedroll. That'll do. Crash key 127. Thank you, Traffy. I should get out. Tell everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. I was saying if you want to uh, send it to me too, I'll I'll check it out too. Helmets look so cool. That many pawns. Um, so I'm using a mod uh, because the icons were so small. I'm using a mod that just zooms in, makes the icons bigger, and it zooms in on their head. So I think we had everyone with helmets the last couple of streams of this colony, but I didn't have the uh, bigger icons. So yeah, they're all they're all helmed up now. So BCD. Sad wander on Finn. Welcome in. Welcome in. They're camping so close to each other. Sam's all alone. I didn't even send Sam a, uh, with a bed roll at all.
I'm ignoring that message. You can tell because I didn't say anything. Do I actually not have any of the art pieces set up in here? There we go. Interesting raids. We had quite a bit happen tonight. We've had uh, a big raid. We've had a mech raid. Had an infestation. We had a uh, lot of... Oh, crap. I didn't cancel this. Uh, race it up here. Yeah, so we've had, we've had quite a bit happen tonight. Nothing close to killing us or anything, but... Sign to hauling. Oh, so was it showed up? Uh, John, I, I appreciate it. I'll thank you again when the alert happens. You usually have to refresh the Twitch page for the alert to the share button to hit. But either way, thank you, John. Uh, no, we have recon armor on everyone. Almost everyone has recon armor now, I think. So we're doing... Um, Devil Strand button down shirt, recon armor, and marine helmet. Go ahead, Twiggle. Welcome back in. And pretty much everyone has that set up. We have a couple of, um, we have the one cataphract helm. I think we have a couple of recon helmets just because we bought them to save on some plasteel. That's a pirate. Welcome back. Let's go, pirate. How close is this Ambrosia? No, I don't care about it. Good morning. Sam's almost at his destination. Are these guys getting hungry or are they fine? Nah, you're fine. They'll be home. They'll be home soon. Hitala, thank you for the host. Thank you, Hitala. Are you streaming seven days or something else? Mostly crafting or buying? Mostly crafting, yeah. Mostly crafting. Uh, when I see some, I've been grabbing them, uh, buying them, but for the most part, we've made we've made them. Should probably run that through here now instead. It's not a huge deal though. All right. Sam, are they awake? Nope. All right, Sam. You know how this works. Do not wake them up. I'm kind of afraid that's going to, so I might deconstruct the corner instead. I think it's line of sight, but I want to be, I want to be extra cautious since he's by himself. This is like Sam's second or third thing like this. Oh, they woke up this time. Oh no, Sam. See it again? Uh, we don't know yet. <laughs> they must have been on a timer. Sam, I'm so scared for you right now. <laughs> don't even know. Oh no, service finally died. Of hypothermia. Oh, the smoke spewer. Oh, guys, don't come around here. Please don't come around here. Sam, how are you missing some of these shots, man? Oh, 
Run, Sam, run. Break line of sight. <laughs> Go. Sam. <laughs> the legend. Get out of here. <laughs> Super Bowl, it's going pretty well. Show me some FIFA. Didn't. Sorry, I saw him. Sneak 100. Sam is a legend, man. That's like the second or third thing like that he's solved for us. I don't even care about the parts and stuff. Screw it. Just get out. Get out. That was scary. I thought they were after him. He was trained by Elmer Fudd, though. If he was trained at all. What a charmed life Sam lives. That's right. All right, uh, where are all these other, There's a lot of plastic down here, uranium up there. We'll probably wait until a few of them are found so we can hit multiple at once that are close together. Might as well lose the arm thing, yeah. Yeah. On steel, two thousand, two thousand. A lot of it's not getting mined very fast because Pond Scum isn't here, and he's our lead miner. What? What the crap? How did this happen? Are the potatoes here? Get, get this out of here. It's because I split that, I think. All right. Caravan has arrived. All right, so, uh, where are the caravan animals? Here they are. Ducks still going strong out there on their own. Yeah, we have way too much food, yeah. Um, I, I got rid of all the corn over here though, so it should start stabilizing at some point. What's going on down here? I thought they were eating something. That would make any sense. Uh, all right. So we need to get lights in these. You guys in the dumping zone? Yep. Okay. So basically all this cost us was an assault rifle and a bedroll. A good assault rifle and an excellent bedroll, but still. Not too bad. Oh. I hate unpacking caravans. everything I think so
Uh, so those that were dumping go back to the side grazing area. Anyone wearing a saddle? Don't think so. I'm sure there's a mod for it, yeah. For better unpacking or whatever, but... Probably is, anyway. Alright. What's next? What's next? Uh, I still think our defense is completely fine for everything that we're getting hit with right now. Sam is almost back home. The hero. The hero. Okay. All right. This. I think you can just do it from in there too, but it will. Guess where I'm going with you? I hope it's the shower. Gear and just force drive everything. Still not as good as having medic with house. Well, that, that's what I was doing, yeah. That's what I was doing. This is an interesting mini game. I was wanting placing the wooden floor so we could get stacks of two to three wood instead of uh, bringing in huge stacks. Uh, I meant to cancel the flooring after it was hauled in, uh, so that was just a mistake. But it does the same thing. It does the same thing. Actually. Something in a pile instead of wood. I mean, these stacks of wood burn for a really long time and heat it up uh, quite a bit, and it's so easy to get. But basically, what the best way to do it is to put the flooring down and let them deliver the flooring, but not build it, and then cancel uh, the flooring once it's the material is there, and then it'll just pop out three pieces of wood or whatever. Um. I don't know. That's about what we had last time, and it felt barely enough. But it was enough. Maybe I should put a little bit more in there. I don't know. Pull a goods trader. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's get Reezy there, tier 5. Yeah, uh, even a single piece of wood burns the same temperature and length as a full stack, so... Prevent bug attacks to burn them, yeah. We just used it, actually. Um, it superheats the mountain area and uh, kills them all through heat. We could sell the ducks. Might as well. They're just grazing out there doing nothing. We got them for free, so. Uh, and the new puppies, that's fine, too.
buy your chocolates. Um, sell you all of our rice. Get your components, your advanced components. Sell you all of our leathers. Uh, they're selling flat steel and steel. We'll take all your steel. And do we want all the plasteel too? I mean, yeah, we might as well. Might as well get it when we have it offered. Insomnia. Insomnia. Welcome back. 10 months. Not sure if that's a fresh cut. It looking good. So it's going, I'll, I'll tell my wife she cut my hair. But no, it's, it's a couple weeks ago. Thank you, Insomnia. Appreciate the continued support. Much love to Insomnia. Yeah, so how, how it works is I set the wood on fire, I close the doors, it superheats this to like a thousand degrees and it just burns all the bugs to death. But this is about to seem maybe even a little bit less wood than I had last time, so I might put it a little bit more in there. Actually, we need to cut some more wood. It's been a while since we needed any wood, but... Get this all trimmed. Thanks, Insomnia. How you doing, Insomnia? I've been having some insomnia myself. Sucks. Psychic drone. A high level psychic drone for six days? No. Absolutely not. Yeah, we'll never be getting that steal. Most likely. Uh, right, pond scum needs his weapon now. Okay, so after you eat, grab your new weapon. Jamie can't make psychic foil hats. Yeah. Melbourne came out of lockdown not too long ago. Seeing friends has been nice. <laughs> What'd you get, Reezy? Tier 5, you got Far Skip. Skip the caster along with anyone standing near him to an ally in a distant location. Send people far across the planet, but only works if there is a willing ally on the other side to use as a navigation beacon. Skip people will always appear near a random ally on the target map. That's pretty nice. So now if we're ever attacked in one of those situations, I can just uh, zip people over there. Seek so in an exclusive ID in the middle of an investigation while they're asleep. They will wake up. <laughs> Sam made it back. The legend. Sam the legend. That one we could probably do. Uh, Gus, I think you were tested that. <laughs> the boy, you know. Speaking of IDs. Might start placing some IEDs out here. Seems like the most common place raids spawn are down this area and over here. Hmm. Bring everyone back and sleep from a caravan? Yeah, as long as they're on the caravan, right? Or can they use it even if they're not? That's nice. Uh, I mean, we have the pack animals because of uranium being so heavy, but how many people are we up to? 47. How much gold we got left? 800 gold still. Start playing out our... Uh... We're going to need new... oh, more beds soon. We need more beds. Maybe I should move some of the workshop stuff over to this other storage area.
Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's move, like, the tailor bench over there. The ones we're not using very often. Drop on the forest if everyone needed. Come back instantly afterwards. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I'm guessing it doesn't work on the animals though. We'll table and drop another four beds there. Yeah, I wonder how much space we're gonna have left after that too. Huge bearing, so much less mood from barracks and being woken up. Right bedroom space trade off is also huge. So they're actually getting like a plus 18 or something from that room. Uh, let me see someone that's actually just slept recently. No, Sam just got home. All right, so extremely impressive barracks is plus two. Uh, pretty environments plus five. Spatial interiors plus five. Very impressive wreck is plus five. Extremely impressive dining room is plus six. So, I mean, they're getting such a huge mood boost that it, 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 w it doesn't really matter. Uh, and in the schedule where they're all, they're getting um, the comfortable buff from their bed twice a day and they're always well rested and everything. Yeah, they're getting such a huge mood boost from just uh, the room being so impressive and it being the barracks, the dining, and the um, uh, rec room. That's not really a problem. Side focus, don't know if you jump twice. Um, who ended up getting it? Yeah, I think it was a expensive one. I think it was pretty expensive. I know we can smooth some of that, but... Oh, well. Pawns are at 80-plus percent. On the top beds, have a dresser. I just never threw one in there. It's another thing I need to do. I just... Ha I've kind of ignored that for a while. Okay, so we got some plasteel and some uranium. So we can hit both of those pretty easily. Uh, Blake, Blake, uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome, in, Blake. Much appreciated. All right, time to start working on bionic legs again. Um, I'm gonna get one on pretty much everyone, but our planters are the ones that need it first. Too deep infestation again? Which drill? This one? Okay. in these like crazy tonight. All oh, right, Hitalo. I keep forgetting. <laughs> keep forgetting. He's a pyro, so I give him the uh <sighs> the weapon to give him a mood boost and then keep forgetting. No one else is, uh... Yeah. We're good. 
Spine surgery, nice. A birthday, what'd you get, Phelan? Hearing loss. Hearing loss. Okay, uh, who else works on plants? Uh, Lucas and Dunkoro work on plants. All right, Lucas, do you have bionic legs yet? You do not, but you're about to. Let's give you good medicine. Install bionic leg, right leg. Get into the legendary bed. Uh, Dunkoro also does not have one. Good medicine. So I install bionic leg, right leg. Uh, what's the next best bed? There's another legendary. So. Field hands, yeah. That was a... That was a deep drill infestation, so not a... A red mountain. Let's see the two caravan guys first. I think, um, do we already give them to one of them? The reason I haven't given them to uh, Pond Scum is because he's mainly mining all the time and he's mining at the deep drills, so. Yeah, I need to do that. So we have other legendary beds down here I need to bring up or three down there can't bring yourselves with bionics on healthy people it's so good it's so good have him set for better medicine what's your medical at 15 ah, he's fine he's fine So good. Bionic legs make them run around so fast. Bionic eye. One bionic eye will help them shoot really well. that wood done uh, a little bit a little bit mm. I might need to make them go get some more wood actually uh, we could use granite yeah let's we'll do that just a little overkill one way to make it happen. That's right. You've never had, even had a bionic eye on one of your best shooters. Yeah, it helps with their aim quite a bit. Uh, the second eye doesn't help as much because I think it's an average between the two. Uh, but one, one eye really adds a lot. All right, uh, careful shooter, jogger, too smart. 60 years old, no. Crab, neurotic. <sighs> Tempting. Psychically sensitive and tough. Beautiful, nope. So nothing really here that we want. Uh, we'll take your eight components. We'll take our drugs. We need to break down that marine armor sometime. Sometime. So I had to have more or less every bionic. Whoops. Punch the microphone. Because of injuries. 
Got your tribal you rescued. They're worth the investment. Yeah, so... Uh, bionic eyes for shooters, bionic arms for your melee, and bionic legs for everybody. I mean, bionic everything for everyone eventually. <laughs> but if you're, uh, you're trying to decide which one to do first. All right, we're going to clear all, and we're going to put... Um, Raw food vegetarian here. Set that to critical. Uh, we'll just copy settings over to this one. And we'll make him fuel. We'll make him fuel. We'll just keep extra chem fuel. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Um, let's have this drop. God, look at all our stockpiles. Holy crap. Uh, drop on the floor and it's done. All right. Slap bonus, but some effects are capped away 50% and others are not. Seem like they got less percentage from the second eye than the first one. Um, as far as like the aim or whatever was concerned. When we were testing before. But that was a long time ago. It could have changed too. I don't know. Alright. So we want our leather and stuff over here. So let's go ahead and uh Turn off leathers. Okay, so they should start bringing that over there. Uh, what else are we doing over here now? I mean, I don't even know if we're ever gonna make anything at Smithy again. Drug lab. I'm still tempted to make Yayo. I mean, we don't have don't have vendors with enough money. Bad spine, two bad ears, two scars, great memory brawler, great double passions, twenty crafting and melee. Yeah, give them a bionic spine, Some bionic arms, bionic legs. Uh, Nutrimine needs to go over here too. Uh, which one's Nutramine in? Never remember. Well, I can probably already change. Uh, we'll buy it. Natural. Oh, right. Why can I never remember? Solanix, Hansers, Loose Spherium now. 100% <laughs> optimized for any random. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, it's not in medicine. It's not in drugs. Oops. It's right there. So it's its own thing. It's not really categorized so it's under manufactured which is weird because you can't manufacture it if it's used in manufacturing is why it's there that must be it god that's a dirty room clean that up Steel there too. How are we doing on steel? We're back up to 4K. All right, nice, nice. So next project: Spire creativity on entropy. Uh, awesome, awesome. Entropy, are you? You're kind of tired. So 
much work is left on this art? 333. 333. That's quite a bit. Your art's at a 9 now. Tomorrow, I'll have you work on the art. I'll let you uh, get your rest. The new mod, every time you think you have all the mods you need, find like a hundred more. <laughs> God, RimWorld has so many mods. So many mods. A lot of stuff going on. I need to throw a dresser up there too, huh? Make sure people are getting the biggest comfort boost, uh, no matter where they're sleeping. Resting, resting. They might actually have enough rest now to finish this. Yeah, all right. I think when you stop working on that, uh, entropy, you work on it. And because he has inspiration, it'll be two quality levels higher than it normally would be. So we're hoping for masterwork or legendary. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of tinkering going on. It's first Yayo tonight. Come on, Entry. I want to see what this is. A watched pot will never boil. That's not true. Hey, look. It's the best dancing emote on Twitch. Masterwork. Nice. What's the worth on that one? 535 market value. This carving depicts Kenneth Swive Penguin Reed adding surface detail to a large sculpture while smiling proudly. The large sculpture grow, or glows a soft red. The depiction refers to Swive Penguin's completing work on large sculpture. So it's a large sculpture that shows someone making a large sculpture. Cool. All right, uh, more plant people. Plant people. Orchestra. Scorpio Phelan. Bionic leg, right leg. Scorpio. You're a jogger also. Saw bionic leg, right leg. Uh, legendary bed, orchestra, legendary bed. I think someone vomiting while I'm tap getting a swirl and things like that. Yeah, super meta. Meta art. Operation. Don't you fail, Bard. That's right. Don't you fail, Pilot Wash. All right, two more bionic legs. Two more coming up. Which team we have? 34. Um, requesting colonists. Eight colonists for 34 plasteel? <laughs> Get out of here. Eight colonists, 32 plasteel.
All right, got all the steel that that one could reach. So let's go ahead and reinstall it down here. It's gonna be tough to remember that's down there. But oh well. When we have a dug too deep, I'll need to remember to check left side, kill tunnel side. Two hours, you don't see any raid. It's a colony, why? That's just Randy Random. We've had four or five major events tonight, but uh, how Randy works is that each kind of event has a weight to it, and then it can roll any of those events. But when it rolls one of the events, it takes place of anything else that can happen during that period. So that's just how it works sometimes. Uh, we've had one raid tonight, one mech raid, one travel raid, one mech raid infestation a bunch of dug too deep infestations we had an animal attack so the last few major events that happened were all infestation related instead of uh normal so those took took the place so to save another event oh look Wonko, stop! I'm trying to revel at Panoxicillin blocking the plague on so many people. What you did, Wonko. Look what you did. That should be enough for the next infestation. Someone else is already on their way doing that one or something? Must be. Must be. Look at that. Panoxism blocked plague on all those people. Man, that would have been a really rough event. See, so that takes up an event slot uh, with Randy. Normally, those events would be separate on the others, so we actually can't get hit with another major event for a couple in-game hours. Um, holy crap. That would have been a lot of plague. Oh yeah, no, no worries, Monty. That, that's just how Randy is. Sometimes Randy will hit you twice a day, every day, and then other times you'll go a whole season and very little happens, so. Castle Arg! They wouldn't carve out Arg. How's it going, Panzer? How do you make them work while drafted? Hold control. Hold control down and right click while drafted to make them work while drafted. Combat supplier. Let's see. Uh, so our psychites. Grab a few components that they have. Old flak vest goes out. Unknown uranium. Uh, do you guys have anything that we want to buy? I'm an excellent marine helm. We might as well buy that while they're here. Okay. I need to set up to smelt um, these little ones. So let's see. Smelt apparel. Let's set up another one. Suspend for now. Do forever. Um, if it's 51% or lower. And. Uh, let's clear all. And let's have headgear and armor. That should do. 21% or lower. Inequality. All right. Do forever. Unsuspend. There we go. It tells people their father was a hamster and their mother smelled of elderberries. Yeah, something like that. Close to it. Um, where's the new steel? And there's a lot out there. We can actually 
That'd be really easy to mine out there too, now that we claimed all this. And we have all these turrets set up. So. Won't last. The scanner activity around the lump. It's likely hostile. Uh, okay. Still think we should put more turrets out here too. I think we might as well. Might as well be on the safer side. I think we're overkill for quite a while. We're so ahead of the curve, but oh well. More defense. Do forever just sounds depressing. Never stop. So actually fill up all four of our uh, stoves sometimes. Hmm. Thought of ads in a world domination challenge? Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of boring sometimes without mods to make them make the settlements harder. Because, I mean, it has its own challenges, obviously, especially if you set everything up and get really strong before you go out. But by default, the enemy settlements are really kind of kind of weak. Like baseline, enemy settlements will have like one to two buildings and maybe like four to 12 enemies and like one or two turrets and that's it. So it just, uh, once you kind of get to the point where you can bulldoze over a settlement, it's just a matter of just continuing going settlement, settlement, settlement. Not that it's not a impressive feat. We're all about the impressive feat here, but yeah, I just don't, don't know that, uh, it would keep my interest. Get mods from the settlements if you decide to do such a challenge. Yeah, that's true. Like uh, Rim Cities and the Empire mod and stuff like that. Impressive feats. I was going Nomadic. We'll go back. Shims. I'm doing shims. Let's go on shims. All right. We'll let them finish working on that. Uh, we got new bionics up. We do. Bionic leg. Scorpio got his. Okay. Who's the next one on planting? Lucario. Oh, me and Sam already have one. Lucario, R squared, and Jer. Okay. Lucario does not have one yet. Also, he's transhumanist, so he'll really like this. Better medicine. So I'll have a leg, right leg, legendary bed. Stop hitting yourself. Tell my real dad. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't mind if Rainy hit us with another raid. I kind of like seeing all the stuff just take him out. It's been overkill for like a couple in-game years now. Don't know that it'll ever catch up. Pond scum. Can you do that some more actually before you go? So you actually need food? Keep an eye on you. Surviving the death blow. Dire raids. I think we played with it once a long time ago. 
Uh, I think we had dire raids, and then we also had when raids... Sometimes raids go badly or whatever. That one is. That one was really weird. Because occasionally, things would just happen. The raid was taken care of without you having to do anything. So we'd have, like, a really big raid. But then it would have, like, a meteor shower on top of them. <laughs> they were just hit by meteors and start dying. Uh, or they'd immediately get hit by wild animals and stuff. Uh, or they all would have, like, super fast aging. Yeah, I'm thinking I should put a table down here sometime. Mod, see what Rainy would send based on wealth. I could, but it would kind of go against the challenge thing, you know? I can make a separate save of this and then we can see what it was like. Or when you sacrifice colonists, so in 100 mega slots, yeah. That's right. Good times. Blight! Uh, it's our first blight. Did we have one early game? I don't remember. Feels like if it's not our first, it's one of our first. Didn't lose that much. We had people nearby. All right. That was the first blight. It's crazy. So now what events have we not had? Just Toxic Fallout, I think. I think we've had every single event in the game except for Toxic Fallout. All right, let's double check this. What are you guys selling? You're selling a female warg? We have a male warg. Uh, Ryu, Triple Fascination and Kind. No. Dixon. Here they make good cider. Someone sent me that once. A kind fast walker is really nice. They can fight. They don't really... They're not good at what we want our last coupons to be good at, so... Ancient Danger? Yeah, we haven't found it on this map. I think it's buried in the mountain. Ancient Danger on this map must be buried in the mountain somewhere. We're selling a good charge rifle? Interesting. Interesting. Legendary work. Legendary wooden stool. Uh, I was hoping it was like the recon armor or something. Ah, uh, well. Okay, turn that off. It's a gathering spot. I don't want people coming down here. There's a table right there. I know, it wasn't done yet when you started your meal. Okay. How about you on marble? We're all right. God, we have so many fine meals. I should probably have them stop making them, or we should sell some of them. Uh. Uh, let's manage food restrictions. And let's just turn off simple meals. Done. Too many people eating civil meals. Silverline, are you gonna build yourself in there? Good. Pretty easy for you to deal with at this point? Yeah, it would. Yeah. yeah, no matter what was in the ancient danger, it'd be easy to deal with with this uh all the stuff that we have at the moment. But it would be worth popping one open if we ever uh, find one. Uh, 
All right, uh, let's get this light moved over. And yeah, start breaking this down. Uh, how wide is this interior? 12. 12 by 11. All right, we're fine. Before toxic fallout. We've got our hydroponics set up now. Should be fine if we have toxic fallout. Should be. Sacrifice so crypto pawns. Ancient danger is pretty easy to deal with in the early game. Yeah. There's just not one on it. I mean, like I said, it's probably buried in the mountain somewhere, I would assume, but. How's it going, Rhino? Welcome in. Bob, welcome back. How's it going, Bob? Steel we got. Oh yeah, we got plenty of steel. Plenty of steel. How's range treating us? Um, we had a couple of big events kind of early on, and then since then it's mainly been infestations. So what all have we had? We had a uh, mech cluster on a different tile that had a smoke spewer. We had a mech raid happen with centipedes. We had a tribal raid happen. We had a lot of dug too deep infestations, one big mountain infestation. Uh, we had a animal, um, manhunter animal pack event. So it, it's kind of been all over the place tonight. Randy's trying to give us one of everything, apparently. Aside from infestations, which, we, which we've had quite a bit. Coco, can you get that out of there? Thanks. Uh, all right. Only a lot of wood in time. Yep. Yep. And it takes up a, um, um, a major threat slot. So infestations are actually kind of good for us. Definitely no big deal. As long as we handle it correctly, which I mean, we have been dogging the tea. They should have been carrying it. Was he eating it or hauling it? They shouldn't be eating the tea. Hopefully you're just hauling it. But if not, I guess he's tripping balls at the moment. Move these. So, Alexander, welcome in. Thank you for coming back. using that so very often. Hmm. Or frenzy on Phelan. Uh, we don't even have the food set up on those two. Forgot about that. Hmm. 
I guess we'll set those up too. So let's copy these over. Paste and paste. Copy, paste these over too. Should have done that a long time ago. I guess that's the uh, theme of tonight is we're just fixing lots of little things around the base. So I'm gonna leave those ones turned off. Okay. Uh, that'll allow us to move some other stuff down. Got new bionic legs up. We do. We do. Who's next? Uh... We got Kaz and Jer. Kaz, did I already give you legs? Can't remember. Jer does not have them. He's a jogger too. Um, Kaz also. No, she has it. So, Jer, it's your lucky day. Saw a bionic leg, right leg. Legendary bed. All right, who's the next person that's dealing with plants? Kin. Kin, Bauman, Iceman. Okay. Uh, you're not like, yeah, okay, you're a jogger. Salabonic leg, right leg, other legendary bed. Enjoy your new legs, Kin. We still have all the stoves full of people sometimes. So, Night Spark, welcome in. Welcome in. I've been Night Spark. It's been a few days, huh? Not like, where have you been? But good to see you. <laughs> Uh, who's having the minor break risk? Rakes? Yeah, sounds about right. Miss me too. <laughs> Alright, so, got the kitchen expanded. We need to uh, go ahead and get some more beds set up for when we do get our last few pawns. Let's go ahead and do that. So these are actually not hitting the dresser either, so we'll get a uh, dresser for those ones. And these ones don't have a dresser either. Also, we don't need that simple meal shelf in here anymore. So, is there somewhere else I need a shelf? Yeah, let's break it down. Break it down. You watch my VODs deal with it? Awesome, thank you, thank you. Have you checked out the tiny map? I think you would like it. It's my favorite playthrough I've done in the nearly 1,300 hours of playthroughs. It's on YouTube. So on right, Redders of Seven. Uh, no, we have a plus two on the barracks right now. Plus two mood boost. Uh, a legendary bed? Nice. Yeah, we have extremely impressive barracks, plus two. So... Best case scenario, yeah, you can get a five, four or five extra mood points from individual bedrooms, but it's a lot more space, a lot more wealth. Which miss in this one? Evolution of the kill box? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Hey, we got to use it tonight. We got to use both kill boxes tonight. We had a mech raid and we had a tribal raid. Um, yeah. The mechs did not make it through. The thing is, though, the mech raids have been, like, maybe 20 to 30 mechs, and we run out of ammo in about 12 of these, which is a little scary. I might work on making another row of these, which is just sounds silly, but I might. I might. So we're still only 369 days in. 
I need to just play on 3x the entire time. 3x unless there's an event. <laughs> Pretty much. Alright. Um, we're not smelting very often. Watch me forget where I'm putting this. Seems like something that'll happen. It's 4x lag. It doesn't feel like any faster than 3x, so I guess it is a little, a little laggier now. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. It's not really an increase from 3x anymore. <laughs> I could have someone rearm them during combat, yeah. Seems a little scary, but I can make an extra tunnel. Get back there. I mean, we already have doors on it, but... So yeah, technically I could do that. Jair is confused. It's alright. Happens to all of us. Alright. Uh, who's next on the leg replacement? Han Scum, has your time finally arrived? Probably not. Probably Iceman. Iceman. Where are you, Iceman? <laughs> Operation. Stall a peg. No, 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 peg leg. <laughs> Whoa, there. Bionic leg. As if it would be instance. Uh, everyone has ailments. Um. I think most of them are just, yeah, it's just panoxicillin. Just panoxicillin. Good thing I got that panoxicillin up and running. Man, it blocked something like 12 or 13 people getting the plague. Uh, in fact, I should probably buy some more. Yeah, we only have one more round of panoxicillin. So I need to buy some more Nutribene next time it's offered. Plague is bad, yeah. Can you imagine, like, a third of our colony getting the plague right now? Oh, it'd take up so much work time, too. New Anima Link. You only have Solar Pinhole? Let's get you something else, Entropy. Let's get you something else. All right. So we expanded the kitchen. I'll probably end up putting another stove in here. Uh, might just move some of this stuff down. We don't use very often. Let's go ahead and get this over here. And then we'll put these all linked together. Hmm. If I should move those turrets out some, get some more storage going. Confusion a bit. Who had, who was confused? Whoops. So I misclicked on that one. <laughs> it's all right. That's all right. We'll, uh, we'll give him the bionicle leg in place of it. Like it was supposed to be. <laughs> Sorry, Jer, we, uh, we signed off on the wrong body part. It happens. It happens in real life, which is scary. What's going, Sean? Welcome in. Watch the ice. So he is incapacitated because of surgery, but because the icons were so small, I actually uh, got a mod that we're just trying out tonight. Actually, that zooms in and makes the um, makes the icons larger. It's also zoomed in on the head, so if they're if they're downed, um, you can barely see them because they're laying down. So. 
God, they were so, it was like this, like tiny, tiny. I couldn't tell anything. No wonder he was confused. Oh, why don't you take my good leg? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. We'll get you the right one. <laughs> get the right one. Forced action with Octoon while the pawn was trying to go meditate by the anima tree. How did, what happened to it? Did they just get locked in place or something? Uh, a long time ago, I had a bug with Octoon where I tried to force someone to uh, strip someone. Strip someone that was in a kill tunnel. And the pawn froze in place. And they wouldn't do anything. They wouldn't respond at all, and they were starving to death. And um, so their meters were still going down. I couldn't do anything. So what I had to do, like reload the game, everything didn't work. And if we reloaded the save file, which we tried, it would happen again instantly. So I had to open up developer mode and kill them and resurrect them in developer mode. It was really weird. Hey, they got Word of Joy. Word of Joy is really good. Speaking of word of joy, Finn, you need to hit yourself with it. Every part of the map got stuck in standing. I've never had that happen, yeah. That's uh it's a bit more intense. Are we still over the 350? Yeah, okay. Is that a few? Yeah. That's not good. Not good. Ugh. Uh, we actually should probably go get that uranium. It's pretty close, right? Yeah, it's not bad. Let's go get it. Form caravan. We'll hit the uranium, and then we'll hit the plastic on the way back. Um... Who we usually send? It's uh, Scorpio, right? Yeah, Scorpio and Pond Scum. Where is Scorpio? Um, Pond Scum, there you are. For some reason, I really wanted to send Sam. I think because he went on the most recent one, I was like, Sam's who we send. Is Scorpio. There he is. Why is he way down here? It's weird. It's usually towards the top. Take all of our pack animals. Even if we don't need all of them. Whoa, there. What is this lag? What? Doing, uh, like horse. Welcome back. What is happening? Why is it lagging? Are we about to get a attack or something? Time to lurk. They would lurk. Tabs are gone. You can't see pawns on the map. Do exist. Playing to the top part. Save and load. It fixes. Which mod causes that? No, we're not going to get attacked. Weird. All right. Weird. Okay. Scorpio. And... I wonder if selecting the... Pets the way I did was causing it. I mean, I always do the drag thing, but I guess I won't this time. No idea. It's not doing it though. Travel supplies. We are going to take. Um, like 15 package survival meals and. Like. 10 fine meals. Some herbal medicine and the bed rolls. I wonder if they were taking that for the animals. There's foraging though. I don't know. I wonder why they were taking it. Dunno. Let them do it. 
All right, we got you guys all set up. Yeah. Adios. My plate, I'm always up to sleep. How's it going, QZ? Pretty much always up to sleep. That goes the automatic travel supplies calculation. Yeah, maybe that's what was going on. Select animals first, the ponds, it should be fine. Weird. It's really weird. Getting ready to go. How's the steel doing down here? Uh, there's still quite a bit. Quite a bit. We're at 5k. All right. Let's replace that leg. Uh, who was that? There's Jer, right? My bad, Jer. I just clicked the wrong button, man. You understand? Bionic leg, right leg. Bionic leg, right leg. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Uh. I mean, that doesn't really give us any extra space, right? No. These tables are still better to do for space reasons. Uh, I need to make the stockpile elsewhere. Let's put it down here. You guys arguing about something? What's the tat mean by fighting skill? Uh, I usually do fighting skill, yeah. I usually do melee first. Melee, uh, EMP grenades or grenades in general, then range and order of distance weapon that they have, and then um, uh, non-violence at the end. Sometimes I'll rearrange them uh, within those groups for, send my chat disconnected. Stream's still good though, right? Yeah. Sometimes I'll rearrange them so that people with similar jobs are close by uh, when I'm using a lot of people and like forcing a lot of people to do stuff. Like I might have some builders next to each other. Uh, this time I've also put some of the side casters near each other within their group. But yeah, I usually do melee at the front and then uh, distance of range weapon after that. Make some more tables. So the colonists and the numbers are getting crazy. Yeah. I've thought about alphabetizing them, so I kind of know what some people are, like what their jobs are already. So I've thought about alphabetizing them in this one just so it's easy when I'm looking for a specific uh, colonist name, you know, but have it, have it bothered. Oh, you're mining. Okay, good. It's like, I had no idea where you're going at first. No idea. Uh, we did get some Weird way that you're going there, dog. 
We get some honor doors in some of our most traveled areas. Yeah, okay. Where's some more that we're going through often? I think we got them in the most traveled areas, though, already. Maybe these. We actually don't even need those, huh? We could get rid of one of those doors completely. This will just be part of that room. I actually don't have a lot of marble left. Name plus first letter, profession. Adam B, you be your builder. All medics have doctor for their names. Yeah, I've seen I've seen quite a few people that just literally name people what their job is, what their primary job is. So you'll have like builder one, builder two, <laughs> cleaner, or maid, janitor, etc. Find that terrifying. <laughs> Need more uh, tables down here as well. Still playing horseshoes inside the house. Run, pig, run! I'm not gonna save you. You gotta. This is a fight you gotta do yourself. You're, I hope you're not bonded. I should check that. Uh, they had a bond. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I try not to let animals bond with them, and then when I saw the name Parasite, I was like, I think, I think they have a bond. I think Zeno has a bond with him. Oh. So that could be Livermore with the stories. Less personal. Yeah, I, so this one is definitely... I don't know if this one's like telling stories like a lot of my colonies do. Um, but the next run I'm going to do after this will definitely have some stories to tell. Bacon for dinner. Pig actually did some work. We should probably finish off the bear, though. Probably should. That way it doesn't hunt any people that are out forever nearby. gonna fight back what the? it's like 10 percent per shot we've hit him quite a few times it's not quite how that works but... all right that'll do yeah most of our events have been uh infestations again kind of wanting another raid seeing everything die in those kill tunnels is crazy Crazy. sit each other's lap like they used to be able to. I think they fixed that. I think so. I don't think you need the end of the table too. I guess I might as well do that. Watch Snowpiercer? Yeah, we watch it on Sunday. Yeah. 
Most of us felt that it wasn't great. I can understand why some people really like it, but I didn't think it was very good. Yeah, I mean, it had its moments, but overall, probably will never watch it again. Yeah, I didn't really like it either. Yeah. Concept was okay. I think maybe if they had uh, kept true to the comic, which I didn't know the comic uh, until afterwards, might have ended up being a little bit better, but... Yeah, wasn't that fun of it, for sure. Fixing a bunch of this uh, random crap that I had. Met peaceful caravan, move, move along, sir. So you said Yayo because it's less addictive or better money? Uh, because it's less addictive. So if I was to sell Yayo or one of the harder drugs, uh, especially because we have people with chemical fascination, I'd have to hold all of it inside transport pods until a trader was ready. I would buy it and then empty it and I just don't feel like dealing with it. Whereas like tea, I'm fine with them all drinking tea. So. Yeah, in a normal game, I'd probably not take chemical fascination but because of uh how this one is uh i took a lot of pawns that i normally wouldn't because i just needed bodies that was one of them i'm real your hospital looks like massive amazon delivery <laughs> yeah all right I'm gonna put that there instead and open that up. What a crazy barracks this is. Holy crap. Can, I need you to get up, man. I need to move your bed. It's really important. Really important. Install this one here. Uh, crap. So that's actually dark right there, isn't it? It's set in a lit 39, but over here, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna need that one there, I guess. Ah, well. Uh, yeah, we still don't have a lot of marble blocks, but we're using them like crazy. Food's going through the roof. We can even add this to the freezer if I wanted to. Also need to open that up sometime. Bedrooms are not that important. So yeah, I've learned over time that bedrooms aren't that important and freezers are not that important. Uh, used to when I played, even like, I don't know. Up into like a thousand hours into playtime, I rushed a freezer. Always rushed a freezer. But uh, I don't do it anymore because if you only cook how many meals you need in the early game or the first couple of years or whatever, um, raw food lasts so long. Roofed. As long as you're not like overproducing, corn lasts an entire year before it'll rot. Rice lasts 40 days. So just set them to only make maybe three meals per colonist, three to four meals per colonist, and keep it that number. Um, you don't really need a freezer for a really long time. I mean, it depends a little bit on your map too, of course. Like, if you need to uh, stockpile food more. But again, in those ones, you can just make a building with an open roof or whatever, keep it cold if the map's cold. Uh, all right, uranium time. But yeah, that's two of the main things that I've discovered over time. That and that biphasic schedule is awesome. Those, those are two of them. All right, deconstruct these walls while we're here. Scorpio, you do this because you are way too slow for mining. Anything else we want to grab over here? We got plastic we'll pick up on the way home too.
I think it's almost time for the golden road. We're gonna make a golden road through the middle of this base and down here and over to here. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. I keep looking at this old kill tunnel too and I keep thinking that maybe I should get rid of it and put something else here, but I feel like, I don't know, I just want this backup spot. I mean, we can't even fi all fire from here, even if it came to it, but. Yeah, I don't know. I could put another kill area here, too. Or over here. On the whole map and start winter, toss them in a room. Yeah. yeah. What's the biophasic schedule? It is having people sleep twice a day. So instead of sleeping for one long, like, six to eight hour block, have them sleep twice a day for three to four blocks. So what this does is uh, people are always well rested. So what I was finding out is I mainly died to people breaking down during raids. It was typically at the, like, late into the day. People were no longer well rested. They didn't have their recreation uh, filled up. So what this does is a couple things. One, they're always well rested pretty much no matter when we get hit by a raid. They also have at least a decent amount of recreation and they're getting the um, the comfortable buff, the slept on a cloud or feels like I slept on a cloud or whatever. They get that buff twice a day also. So it's just really, really strong for mood. Um, you lose some work efficiency, but I feel like it makes up for it in the um, reduction of breakdowns and in the inspirations that you get. All right, you guys are done. The Plasteel underway. Yeah. Okay. Angry at Noita? I still haven't played that. Is that how you pronounce it? How's it going, Vid? Hey, we can actually get that uranium pretty easily. Don't really like... I wouldn't really like a deep drill infestation there, though. That's a pretty bad place for it. Hmm. Alright, uh, so what's our next... Area or base goal here? Is every room extremely impressive? Every room is extremely impressive that people are staying in for long periods of time. How much gold do we have? 717. A good run, yeah, actually powerful wands. You're wearing a bunch of useful perks. Much smaller though with normal settings, not sure about your scenario. What what's uh smaller with normal settings? God run, so it's super sad. Gotcha. Oh investigations. Yeah, yeah. They're small in this too, yeah. It's barely an inconvenience. Uh, it doesn't scale. I don't know why that event doesn't scale, but it doesn't. So we get like 10 bugs. <laughs> 10 bucks. I could end up just taking that just for a safe place, another safe place for animals to graze. <sighs> yeah, you know what? Why not? So stockpile zone every so often here. Psychite addiction. Must be someone has a chemical fascination or something. Ice man? Yeah, chemical interest. Uh, all right. 
Ice man. It's fine, Ice man. We're always gonna have tea around, so. Yeah, he's fun. Do you know the whole map? I know it's really silly. It's really silly. Um, oh, I know this is. I kind of just went through there, but I'm just gonna copy paste. Okay. Let the animals get that brought down. Moving the whole thing under the mountain. Yeah, I, I'm just going to use the mountain as a barrier from northern raids. I doubt I'm going to move into it at this point. All right. Well, I mean, I don't know. Like, we're, we're like 30% of the way through the challenge. Only 30%. So, if I don't do stuff like that, what else are we going to do? Just take over the whole map, build more defense, I guess. Could start strip mining another section of the mountain. That might be a good idea. Maybe find the Ancient Danger. Although, don't really need anything for the Ancient Danger. It'd be nice to have. Be nice to have, but yeah, we we have so much further to go. We're so ahead of the curve. As far as defenses go. Oh yeah, they won't be a challenge anymore at all. Especially at this point. But even in early game we could actually take care of it, so. Bonds and Meg Colony is more fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm still enjoying it overall. It's just when I think about how much more time's left on this, it's like, what else do I do? Like, do we just make a million uranium slug turrets and stockpile uranium? Maybe. Colonist numbers are starting to slow down to a crawl now that we're getting closer to 50. Although we have had some slave ships that we passed up tonight. Hey, Steel. Uh, actually, let's cancel that steel for now. This is overhead mountain, right? Yeah, I'll wait on that. Golden road, yeah. I'm gonna do the golden road for sure. That'll be... That's gonna be really silly. Really silly. I need to move, uh, this somewhere. another lump of uranium make a legendary gold grand sculpture <laughs> so much wealth did we check that it was like 50 some thousand wealth or some ridiculous number Let's see where this one is hey that's close by too we might hit that up on our way just how much food they have left at the end of this like 37k or something let's take a look um grand sculpture made of gold not e just normal just a normal grand sculpture made of gold is 40,000 wealth <laughs> 40,000 wealth oh I can't imagine legendary god And it's flammable. Praying for colonist drafts, getting wrecked by any raids. Yeah, yeah, you know. So I was saying, like, we got ahead in the early game, and we've just never fell fallen behind on this one. 
you made one. Oh yeah, yeah. I was talking about the wealth impact, not necessarily how much we could sell it for. Wealth doesn't matter, but I was just curious what the value on it was. I have no idea what legendary would be. You guys all right? Probably need food before you're done here, okay. Wait for that 2% food poisoning hit there. Uh, granite walls, we don't really need that. We can break down the steel stuff here, though. Soul thing is free on entropy. Ugh. Uh, you're going after Duncoro. Where's Finn? Finn, hit Duncoro a word of joy, please. Close the lighting <laughs> onto the horse, yeah. Inspire creativity on uh, entropy. Do we have something that's almost done? Yeah. Can you want to stop that? Where's entropy? Entropy, you finish working on that. More scan uranium. Curious to see how much food these guys have left. Man, there's another lump of uranium just right there. And it's kind of on the way home. See how much food they have. 8.5 days worth of food. Ah, they can go. They got this. There's still room on the horses. Plenty of room. Man, they're going to be bringing home so much. They're going to come home with like a thousand uranium, 400 plus plasteel. Yeah, that's true too, yeah. You can always drop pod food, but they have eight days left. They're only like two and a half days away from home. I hate how often auto doors break down. Masterwork. Large sculpture. Nice. Oh my god, we have like 1700 tea. We need some trader scum. Could work on allying people again. We haven't done that in so long. Who needs allies when you have a drug empire and heavy weaponry? Yeah, they're not far from that at all. 18 in plants, nice. Okay, uh, what's the next thing here that we want to do? I mean, we don't really need anything else, like, in the base. We have room for how many more colonists? Um, do we have a couple that's not sleeping together? Since I moved that? We might. We might. Uh, let's look at needs, and we're going to look for not sleeping with their significant other. Couldn't just go through the relationship thing to you. Want to sleep with super glue? There we go. Sim and super glue. My bad. My bad. Ugh. So many people. 
There you go. So how many unowned beds do we have? One, two. Three, four. So we have at least four, which will put us at 51 people. So I don't think we need any more. And we're still over 350 space. Yep. So we don't need to do anything else here. It's extremely impressive already. So nothing else to do. Um, we could put in another stove or two, but I think... I don't think we're actually manning all five at a time. Is he in the hospital? No. I don't. That's one thing I want to do is finish all the research for the tech prints and then actually put in hospital beds and TV and stuff in here. Um, I'd like to have like 20 hospital beds, but I could move the research out of here and start working on it. Why not make flake? Because we have people that are chemical interest and chemical fascination. And so to make sure the chemical fascination people don't get addicted to flake and yayo or whatever, I would have to put it into transport pods. And when traders came, I'd have to empty out transport pods and then trade it from there. And I tea, I don't care if they, they drink. So, And we already have so much that vendors can't usually buy all of our tea, even when we buy things from them. So, yeah, we only have tech print research left. And not many of those. We need brain wiring, poison synthesis, skin hardening, molecular analysis, neural computation, cataphract armor. Getting 100 arts tech. Arms, legs, good deal. 50 man bionic army. Yeah, we're working on the bionics. Slowly but surely. In fact, let's uh, see who's next here. Let's look at Lucas and Finn. Okay, Finn. Looks like it's your lucky day. Stall bionic leg, right leg, legendary bed for you. Um, maybe I will speed rakes up. He has brain problems. Why he's so slow though? Uh, Zar, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. He hunts. Very easy way to get all the tech prints quickly. Yeah, that's true. You have enough people. Here's an idea for a colonist trait. Banter lover. Salts come as easily as breathing. Dish it out so else they can take it. Sometimes insult other colonists the same way kind colonists give kind words. Bad penalty social skill. Gains mood boost instead of mood penalty from being insulted. <laughs> Uh, well, only insulting spree. Target insulting spree when breaking. No! How do we get an auto join at this stage? Uh, they're in a friggin' coma. An optimistic wimp. We don't really want you. I really don't want you. You have nothing I want. Do you have a relationship? You don't. You know what? Lobby hates you. Hey, Lobby. Lobby. No one better save this person. Optimistic that we'll let him join? Well, I got news for them. I really don't want them. Like, I, re I really don't. Uh. Hey, pie wash. Chill. What are you. Hang on a second. I haven't decided if we're going to kill them or not. It's really not what I want right now. Oh no, Pot Wash, what are you doing? Oh no. No. Someone stop him. Oh no. Pot Wash. Oh god, Craze is doing it too. No, why god, why? Oh no. Hey! Hey. Hey, the yeah, come in. 
you die? What? <laughs> Can they not get the last? S stop it. It's kind of interesting, huh? That's so weird. It's like we can't, no matter what. <laughs> oh my lord. This is so bad. <laughs> I know that we can't and we just need to let her... I can't stop. We just can't stop. No one pick her up. <laughs> no one pick her up. It's so weird, just bouncing against the wall. Uh, <laughs> the water just ate her head. <laughs> it's gonna dump her. the unkillable pawn with that wimp yeah she just kept me in a headshot they shot you 80 times i got better work despite all those punches oh man jupe thank you for the follow welcome in jupe same bug fixed with just a reload that's good yeah, that's good so we still haven't had any deaths that were not intentional both of these are ones we kill on purpose uh so we're going to have the minus three for a day because <laughs> no one, no one knew them. They weren't friends with them or anything. War got to eat their head. Not bad. Oh, I need traders to come get my tea so badly. You guys... Okay, I was about to say, what the crap's going on? Trying to fix the unkillable bug. Headshots from guns or rifles. <laughs> Take the head first. And I request a caravan. I don't have uh, a relationship that high with anyone anymore, I don't think. Actually, we do have one with them. So they're not going to have a lot to trade, but I guess we might as well. Um. Yeah, let's do bolt goods. And all you've seen in this run is a bio-mutated ball of flesh that clones itself every 120 days. It grows random body parts that need to be removed. So can you use the body parts? Yeah, I've been thinking about that too, that we might want to ally with the other, um, the Binny Alliance. Just leave the tribals angry. Maybe. We'll get more mech raids that way, but... Sorry. Why is Rainy always trying to kill my horses? Lightning.
Wow, we filled up all those horses. Okay. Can't even take the rest of the steel from that house. It's all right. Coming back with a lot of stuff. They come out uh, beautified part X. <laughs> Silver lining of uh, more mech raids, less dead bodies to deal with, that's true, and more steel. Components and all those good things. That is true. Uh, do we get all that done? We did. All right. It's gonna make it so mech clusters can fall inside of our walls because I don't want that. I don't know about that. The more I think about that, the more I don't like closing that off. We don't really need to close it off either. Oh, I don't know. I'll think about it. We're not gonna use it. It's just gonna be for grazing, so I don't know. Yeah, eh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Thinking probably not. What if a mech cluster could fall in here too? That's something to do with roofs. I know um, they used to could crash through roofs, but I don't think they can crash through roofs anymore. The Coro needs a nicer helmet. Um, yeah, why isn't he wearing a better one? Yeah, there's a recon helm right there. Hmm. There's a lot of recon helms, actually. Uh, let's do the same thing for melee. There we go. Yeah, I'm wondering about that too. Where was that? I don't know. I mean, it'll end up here eventually, but I'm curious um, stats on it in comparison. All right. It's on Gar. Yeah, I don't know where he dropped it, so. I know a dog will bring it here eventually. Someone will. Distant uranium again. Man, oh man. Put it under the helmet? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> um, You know what? Let's work on finding gold. Uh, and Jade. Shrin came out on Steam. You're happy? I don't know what that is. What is that, Gar? Kevin Lag is calculating the forage of high plant skill pond and the animal hunger to give food amount. Interesting. You found a mod that fixes that too? God, there's a mod for everything. Mod for everything. Mare's pregnancy. Uh, do we want to ally with other people? Maybe. Especially because we can just keep calling in trades. Call in... Uh, bolt goods. Well, one of each kind of trader from that faction every season or two. Uh, exclamation mods is up to date, yeah. What do I consider essential? So if you go to our exclamation mods list, it's all quality of life stuff. Uh, some ones that I think are really good and maybe essential that feels like they should be in the base game is color-coded mood bars. It makes it really easy to look up here and see um, the mood just by color instead of by fill. Um, the allow tool is another one. So allow tool, color-coded mood bars, uh, wall light seems like something that should be in the base game. If I had to pick like maybe top 
three that seem essential, like they could be in the base game, that would probably be three of them. Allow tool, color coded mood bars, and um, wall lights. But yeah, if you type exclamation mods in the chat, you'll uh, you'll see the ones I'm using. Mystery Dungeon Game, it's a series of rogue likes since SNES, gotcha. I don't know how I don't know that name. That's surprising. Oh, we already found a jade pile. Oh, it's so close to them, but no, I'm gonna have them come home. The animals are full. Yeah, there's a link, uh, Arison. Just in my chat. Ha ha ha. That goods trader ship. That's good. We can sell um, some of our drugs and we can also probably get some tech prints. We have so many drugs. It's been a while since we had a trader. You guys are selling an elephant? That's tempting. Uh, we need to buy the Nutramine while they're here too. We're actually out. Oh my God, we have 2200 Psychite. We have 11,000, over 11,000 worth of psychic. Uh, we'll take your molecular analysis, uh, both of your cataphracts, <laughs> tech prints. It's so stupid that we can do this. And we need to buy even more from them. Uh, we have lots of plasteel now. So let's get that Nutramine. There we go. <laughs> Side trainers too. Burden and Beckon. Burden's pretty decent. Beckon kind of ran its usefulness at this stage of the game, I think. Manhunter Pulse we already have on someone. Nah. grabbing people that will never research. So as soon as we get all the tech prints learned, we'll be able to get rid of our research benches. Finn. Uh, yeah, let's get your tier three, Finn. Let's see what you get. Word of Joy is so crazy good. You gotta be careful with Word of Joy, though. It reduces consciousness by, like, 20. And we used it on someone that already has reduced consciousness from a brain injury, and they instantly uh, passed out for five days. <laughs> What's our pawn number at? Right, 47. 47. Forty-seven pawns. More drugs are coming in. We are overreducing food even though... I can get rid of this, actually. We have enough hydroponics to deal with our food situation. So let's go ahead and uh, put drugs down here. Drugs, drugs, so many drugs. Just a couple of times, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. He just immediately hits the ground. Yeah, I'm really curious if a met cluster could actually land there. That would be bad. Also, do we want to dry out any other part of the map? Uh, we don't want to dry that out because we're using that to hit the mechs. Uh, no real need to dry that out. So I think we're done with our moisture pump. Yeah, no need for that either. So we can just deconstruct or you can sell it actually. We'll just deconstruct it. Uninstall and sell a moisture pump. Group of travelers are passing by. Cool. Have fun. Got more bionic legs ready. So let's see who has the lowest movement. Ranks, but it's because of a brain injury. 
Let's look at... Uh... Mm. Can you also go through the list? Uh, Lucas, did I accidentally give you a peg leg as well? <laughs> I was misclicking earlier. I was going through here quickly. I think I accidentally gave you a peg leg when I meant to give you a bionic leg. I think that happened. Swive. What's going on with you, Swive? Tough, kind, trigger happy. You're basically just making art all the time. You can wait on a leg. Uh, let's see what Finn got. What'd you get, Finn? Chaos skip. Teleport the target to a random position near where he started. How long? Until about right now. It's about what usually happens, huh? Well, we had basically like Caribbean ambushed. Oh no. What kind of weapons do they have? It's all tribal. So Rio, where's your freaking shield belt? Might lose the caravan. This might be our uh, first loss. I don't have. Wait, what was that um, skip thing? Crap, crap, crap. I don't have pause. I don't remember who got it. Who had the teleport? Shield, Rakes has it. Caravan lost. Oh, God. See, that's something I could have prevented with a uh, pause, but... Wow. We might get a quest to save them if they don't die off map. Nope. I think they're dead. I think that's our first deaths. Far skip. Yeah, I just couldn't remember who had it. I fi finally found it, but it was too late. Um, at least I thought I did. No, I didn't. I still didn't find it. Yeah, it was easy. Did we lose? We lost Pond Scum and Scorpio, who had gone on like ten or fifteen caravans and had killed so many. It's their own. That's our first actual deaths of the run. Uh, Alula, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You're dead. You're dead. Sad. The colonists died. There's only one of those, and I'm wondering if it's from this one up here. Um, I guess we can check social, right? Panzer, thank you for the resub. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Thank you, Panzer, for the three months. Appreciate it, Panzer. Manhunter pack. Is anyone down here? Whoa, how many polar bears is that? 25? Oh, that's, that's not a big deal. Maybe we'll just kill him. You know what? It's been a long time since we used the kill tunnel. Let's just do it.
let's just do it. And then I need to check uh, who actually is causing the that debuff. Not you, Hytel. You get back there. sucks we lost him man he was such a good miner too double drill arms sad 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 times guess i should have figured that eventually our luck would run up with all that but they got on so many caravans so many Lost a lot of animals on that too. Not to mention all the uh, uh, plastic and stuff. Really need it. Yeah, I know. I just think it takes away some of the the difficulty behind uh, no pause to have the defensive position thing. I guess I should have taken like two more people with that group, and they would have uh, they would have been fine. So. Live and learn should have not skimped and should have taken more people. It's a lot of DPS. All right, I think we're safe. Good Lord. Think we're all right me for weeks not too much really oh uh, man i can't believe we lost them um so the last thing i'm gonna do before you wrap up and raid is check and see what did pilot wash get artery blockage don't you worry we have so many hearts pilot wash we'll get you a new heart don't even worry about it don't even worry about it. what'd you get finn all right, all right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Pond scum, even the hundred bits. Thank you, Pond scum. It happens. Yeah, I know. It just sucks. It just sucks. Guessing that at the very least, I mean, the thing is, when we look at um, the colonist died, we don't have a times two on it. But it does say colonist lost times two. I'm thinking only one of them died. We might end up getting a quest to save the other one. So we'll have to wait and see. Let's see, it's fun. Oh, yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. It just sucks. Uh, we definitely have it lost. That means we're gonna have to get some new, um, uh, some new animals for hauling or for uh, caribbean rather. All right. You think so too? Yeah, I think one's kidnapped, one died. I don't know which one. Might rejoin another faction. Yeah, that table is now a war crime. I've seen that one, yeah. I've looked at that one. Wish there was a way to tell specifically. Without finding them in one of these people's uh, things here, I don't think we really can. I don't think they had a relationship. I don't think any of them had a relationship. Hmm. 
Oh, we'll have to uh, find out next time. So now we're back down to 45, and we I'm pretty sure one died, we lost, and one of them is kidnapped. I'm thinking the one that died is probably going to be uh, Scorpio, because he was downed way before uh, Pond Scum was downed. But anyway, let's wrap it up before another thing happens, because we just finished two events, and it is past time for me to end. Let me stop recording.